but yeah, you did, so flipping frozen got him. Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what happened. Our stream went down, so um, I don't know if it was something that was shown uh, by one of the sellers. If it wasn't cool with YouTube's practices or something, I'm not entirely sure. But um, yeah, we got our stream taken down. We didn't even know we were still sitting here auctioning stuff. So we are back and uh, we're ready to do something. I, I, I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um, could have been some hateration. It could have just been something that we were ignorant and not knowing about. So I don't know. But we're going to. Well, the lot that Bill Stoner was auctioning off, I was counting down to Flippin' Frozen. So, um, Bill, are you good with Flippin' Frozen getting that for 10? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So, Flippin' Frozen, if you are here, make sure that you send your email information to Bill so that he can invoice you. Yep, absolutely. And uh, what I'm going to do real quick, too, is I'm going to just take this new stream and I'm going to just share that out um, for basically anybody that was part of our old stream and, you know, now is trying to join us for this one. Uh, appreciate you guys being here. If you could uh, throw a thumbs up on the video, I'd appreciate that again. Sorry about the uh, inconvenience. Yeah, Mel, it's the exact same thing that's happening to you. That's why I'm, like, really confused as to what's happening. That's I the first time I've ever seen that happen to me. It did show us out everywhere. Chat. <clears throat> yeah, but now that's, not a bunch of places. that's an invalid link now, though, Nate. No, I know that, but I'm saying, like, in case some somebody might have did something. I, I don't know. I have no yeah. idea. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. You know, we can just oh, go over. What up, Delton? Nine pound hammer in the house. My man Delton does a, I'm sorry. How could Ooh. somebody get a stream removed like instantly that fast? I have if no they idea. report it. Yeah, they could say like there's like some kind of like hate something happening in it or something like that, I think. One of those anime movies might have something extremely inappropriate in it. And no, they're not, they're not that bad. Well, these, are, these aren't adult. Um, none of these are adult ones. These right. are all just regular anime. I checked the rating on them all before oh, I put cool. them in a pile. Even good afternoon, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Got Castlevania. She's been having the same issue, so she feels our pain. But I am going to just go ahead and drop that link out on uh, our Facebook page real quick. And then we can get started all over again. Hello, Kelsey. Yep. Calsylvania was saying, I was told StreamYard's been doing it to everybody. On okay. mine, when I do a stream, the only thing I've been having is they'll come back and say, your Facebook stream, because I'll do Facebook and YouTube. They say, we have stopped your Facebook stream for violations of Facebook terms. But the uh, YouTube stream keeps going. Yeah, this was you two that knocked us out. I had nothing to do with StreamYard. Yeah. Well, you said we were still rolling, so I don't, I don't know. And you, YouTube. But yeah, so we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get rolling again. I think I was up next. Um, well, Gary, Gary, yeah, yeah. The Pokemon lot sold to, um, I think Paul Gate City Picker. Gate City and Picker. Yeah. Nikki had a request about the. Was it Nikki? About the pops, she wanted to see the pops again. She wanted to know which pops Nate had, and I said after Paul we would run. Oh yeah, we'll go back to Nate's pops then, real quick. To Nate's pop, I can't. Uh, I already threw them back on my shelf. I gotta figure out where they're at now. Hold on. Paul says that's been happening to a lot of people using the A word in their title. Err. Just uh. Let Anthony go, and I'll, I'll see if I can remember which ones I have. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll get back to you because I'm not sure who it was. I think it was Nikki that asked about the pops, but I'm not sure. So we'll wait. I think it was KJ have, that asked about them. It was who? I think it might have been KJ. KJ. Yes, you're right. It was KJ. So we'll go ahead and go to you, Anthony. And if if she wants to do the see him again, she'll put it in chat. 
because I don't know if she's here yet. All right. So let's do something that every reseller likes to sell for the most part. I mean, I think every reseller likes to sell them because I sure love finding these. I'm going to do a box of hats. Starting bid? We're going to start at $15. I want this to be uh, cheap and affordable. I want you guys to make money on this stuff. That's the whole point we do this. So first, we have a University of Pittsburgh hat, Pitt Panthers. Snap back. Uh, officially licensed college. Then we have a New Balance snapback. Well, that's different. Yep. Another Pittsburgh team, we have the Penguins. And this one hasn't been used yet, so it has a piece of cardboard in there. I think this might have been a stadium giveaway or something like that. This one's pretty cool. This is a uh, Texas Longhorns. It's got like a metal T on there. That's cool. It's embroidered all over. Any good teams in there like Red Sox or Bruins or anything? I'm not sure. <laughs> made by Sam Headwear. Then we got a black on black. Fitted Jacksonville Jaguars hat. NFL logo on the back. <laughs> That's, uh, on black. The fitted uh, six and seven eighths, aka way too small for my fat head. Pittsburgh Pirates. This is a uh, adjustable strap. But another Pittsburgh Pirates. This is like more of a vintage one. This is made by Apollo in the USA. It's also the same kind of back. You'll see a lot of Pittsburgh stuff because that's where I live and pick. We got a uh, Jim Bean racing hat. That's cool. Order number seven is. Oh, Bobby Gordon probably. This is Bobby Gordon on the side there. I like Jim Bean. Drink smart on it. And this is by Style Master. I think there's a total of ten hats in here. Uh, this one's pretty cool. This is a uh, like winter hat of the, it, but it's the United States Air Force. Air Force. All the military stuff sells well. And then the last one. <laughs> Does Ashley know you have that? Yeah, she she didn't need this one. This was like a dupe or something. So. And then the last piece is Minnie Mouse ears. So I believe there's 10, there's either 10 or 12 pieces here. Let me see. We we are starting one, bid of 15, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's there's 10 hats total. $15 free shipping. And you get this beautiful cardboard box with it as well. That you can use to reship other items. How about that? So yeah, we're gonna do fifteen dollars on ten hats, or we can pass. Looking for a fifteen dollar opening bid, guys. Can definitely make your money back just on one of those hats. Mel said, "I know you're over it, but." You can find out if a person did it, just F FYI. If, if Mel, do me a favor. Can you Facebook message me how to do that? And I'll check that out later. Yeah, I just said this basically the same thing. Oh, okay, cool. Gate so, City Picker says, what? <laughs> oh, Pirates hat? Kevin cool. is in at $15. Thank you, Kevin. Do I see 16 Yeah, appreciate it, Kevin. It's like a bucket hat after the shipping. Did you call him yeah. Kevin? Yeah, his name's Kevin. It's not Kevin? No, it's Kevin, yeah. It's oh. spelled like Kevin, but it's spelled it's pronounced I'm Keevan. sorry, Kevin. I'm sorry, Kevin. So Kevin's got the high bid of 15, guys. Looking for a bid of 16.
We've got about a 22 second lag right now. Keep that in mind when I start counting this down, you guys, because you do not want to lose an auction because you waited too long to put your bid in. We're going to go once to Keevan for $15. We're going to go twice to Keevan for $15. Fair warning. Congratulations, Kevin. You just bought that box of hats for $15. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. And I'm going to throw up my email real quick here for you. If you could, Kevin, just uh, send me an email with your um, your name and your shipping answer. Echo what the rules for bidding and are. Where I can send you a PayPal and. Echo what the rules for bidding are is you just go ahead and bid at the end of that uh, at the end of that specific auction um, on our little scrolly CNN ticker thing here. You'll see the email address of the person that you just won that item from. You email them your name and PayPal email address, address to if possible, and they will invoice you. And then you go ahead and pay that person right then and there. Yep. Larry, there was five Funko Pops. Yep. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty uh, pretty dope lot of Funkos. Like, def definitely some uh, good characters, too. Oh, I loved the Catwoman Funko, and I loved the Batman and the uh, Green it Lantern. Mm-hmm. I think I do at least. Like I, I can get a hold of her on Facebook, so that's not a that's not a huge deal. Larry, you're looking for the Funkos. Nate, Thank did you, you find the Funkos? And let's go to Nate with those Funkos, guys. I think he's he's getting them right now. Let's skip Nathan until he has all the Funkos. Funkos? I'm not ready for Funkos. Let's skip Nate until he gets the Funkos yeah. back He's down. Hit his vape real quick, guys. And then oh, we'll be back I'm to ready him. For Funkos. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Luck Junk. We're gonna go to uh, we're gonna go to Bill then. And Bill is back. Can't hear you, Bill. Can't hear you, Bill. There How we about go. now? There okay. Go. This new microphone. Um, my friend Scott just called and let me know that they're releasing him from the hospital tomorrow. He's going to be going staying with his brother. And uh, I want to thank everybody for your thoughts and prayers for him. He had, he had His heart had stopped for 10 minutes almost. Oh, my gosh. While they were operating on him. So... They didn't think he was going to make it, but he came to two days later and now he's going home. So that's great. Wow. All right. I got another yeah, lot of DVDs. Nice. These are all horror movies. What are we starting at? Uh, $10 again is fine. Okay. So let's see what we got. Fracture. Alfred, yeah, Alfred Hitchcock, murder, dead clowns, terror, saw the original saw. Uh, these are older ones, Boris Karloff and 
Body Snatcher, and I walked with a zombie. Frozen, uh, Flippin' Frozen is in it 10. Two feature films, Snake People and Stanley. Kung Fu, that's not really a horror movie, is it? <laughs> Another Bruce Lee movie. House of Wax. Day of the Dead 2. Cabin Fever. 30 Days a Night. I like that one. This is a triple feature. Godzilla, Godzilla, and Godzilla. <laughs> I love those Godzilla movies. Godzilla. Reptilian. Chupacabra Terror. And double feature White Gorilla. All of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen again. Sixteen DVDs for or seventeen. A, oh, seventeen. I think so. One, two, two three, four. Five. Got the high bid at ten dollars right now. Do I see eleven guys? Yeah, there's seventeen up there all together. Flipping Frozen might get another batch of DVDs for ten dollars if we don't get another bid. Looking for a bit of eleven dollars. I'm hearing noises coming out of my speaker like demon noises. Uh oh. I find that in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you, devil. Go away. They want you to bid. Bid high. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start counting this down for flipping Frozen. Hi, Gianna. What's up, sissy? We're going to go once to flipping Frozen for $10. We'll go twice. For ten dollars to flipping frozen, Bill, do you take square? I don't know. I don't even have a square. Okay, then you've not gone on the computer and signed up for it. No, Callie, he does not do square. Just PayPal. We're gonna go. Bear warning. And congratulations, Flippin' Frozen. You just bought another lot for $10. Dope. Super epic. Alrighty. So I'm going to jump over to Paul. And he will shank you if you want to put on his nice. lot. Nice. <laughs> I am going to do choice. And I'm going to do a buy it now. Now that box is empty, right, Paul? The knife that goes in that box is in front of it. Yep. Okay. These are both brand new. Just clarifying. Six dollars. Oh, we're doing we're doing shipping included, right? Yep. So we're yeah. doing a starting bid of six. So you can do it. Um damn. Let me do shipping at the end on this. And I'll show you why in a minute. So we're not doing free shipping? Right. $6 because I'm going to offer the people as many as they want. Up okay. To, I have a case of each. Okay. So but starting bid is going to be $6. Starting bid will be $6 plus shipping. So if you want one, the shipping would be three, say $4. <clears throat> if you want three, the shipping would still be you know, four dollars. So figure it that way. Oh, beautiful wolves! Now this yeah. is choice selection between these two. Do you have multiples of the green knife as well, Paul? Yep. I have Let a case me, of each left. 
let me explain how a choice auction works. <clears throat> so, in a choice auction, the bidder bids. Whoever wants to bid, bids. You do not put in the chat which knife you are bidding on. You keep that a secret until after the auction is called. And then the person that wins the bid gets to choose. Do they want the green knife? Do they want the wolf knife? Now, they can choose one of, of the two, or they can say, I would like both of them. And then they take both of them. But, and they would take both of them at $6 a piece, if that were the winning bidder. But Paul has got backups. So if this sells for, let's say, $10, Anyone who would want one for $10 would be able to get one for $10. But you, there has to be a winning bidder. Did you disagree with anything I said, Paul? Basically. <laughs> you disagree? Yeah, it's just, we just do a buy it now. We don't have, they don't have to bid. Just oh. put it in the chat. It would be six dollars a piece, but the first person that puts six dollars in the chat would get choice. So if this person bid six and he wanted ten of these, he would get them all because I think there's ten in a case. Okay. If, if this person wanted ten, um, so on and so forth. I didn't know that you had a set price on it. Yes, and then um, I will charge shipping at the end because it's easier that way to charge just for <clears throat> what they're getting. And there's probably... Whoever wants to know how many is in each case. A case of 12. And this is a master display pack. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So this is the display, counter display of this. So in total, you'd get seven. Six. The, well, there's one on the table. Right, and there's five in the box. Oh, okay. So you'd get six wolf knives and how many green ones? This one, I believe there's 12. Okay. And this is all that I have left because I sold all the rest. I had two more of each. And I sold them all the rest of my other auction. I should have just let you explain it. No problem. So if anybody's looking for any resale, uh, if you do flea markets or anything like that, swap meets, put these on your table, 10 bucks a piece, 12 bucks a piece, they should go. This has spring-loaded assist is what it's called, that notch right there, and you're ready to go. We've got one pass from Gate City Picker. Got a belt loop right there. So six dollars each. Like I said, if you buy one, the shipping is going to be roughly three eighty, depending on where you are. Even if you buy three, the shipping is only going to go up a few cents. But it's good for resale. They're both brand new, still sealed, never been opened. This one has the wolf design. <clears throat> Anyone interested in either of these knives at $6 a piece? We've got another pass from Shane M. Hi, Mary. Last call. Nobody's interested. I'll put them away for next time. That's a pretty good price for knives that size. Yeah, no, that's excellent, actually. I paid a lot more and gotten a lot smaller knives. Yeah, this one's cool with the spring assist. 
Woo! It's pretty quick. And it locks in place. And I have just... quite a little collection of knives. Jerry, I've got a, I've got a no... six inch six inch blade uh, knife with a six inch handle in my glove compartment in my car. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Gary, there's no bid. It's a buy it now. Six dollars or six dollars shipping afterwards, just like I usually do it. Uh, because I'm not sure how many people want. I have six total of these, 12 total of these. These come boxed, as you see. This is usually in this bag, in the box. And this one, I have six total. They come in this counter display. There's you'll get the display, guys. Yeah, you get the display. You want all six, you get the display. Mary Pelletier would like a wolf and a easy flip. Okay. Gary, $6 for each knife plus shipping. Right, Gary, if you buy one, which I'm sure between now and I could wait for a week, if you see me at another auction, I know you'll buy something else. We just add it to the box. And the shipping is not, like you know, we don't charge that much for shipping. But better move on. So, Mary, if you're the only one, one apiece, you got it. Anybody else? Gary, were you interested, honey? It's great for resale. Or, you know, if you got someone that needs a knife. Paul can tell you what your shipping will be. And if you decide later in the auction, you guys, if you want one, just drop a note in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. You can move on. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Everybody. All right. Let's go back to Anthony. So I got some plus now, guys. So this is going to start out at $15 with free shipping. And I have no idea how many are in here, but I think my cat is excited about the prospect of this lot. <laughs> this is a bagel, but it's also a retired build bear. The right. bum tag over here. That is beautiful. A little tag there, and the nice thing about these old retired ones, they actually would open them up, put hearts and like little things inside of them. This fella got some stuff inside of them, so retired build a bear uh, are definitely worth decent money. So I grew up with bagel. First piece. Second piece, uh, this is a Webkins. Webkins, that, that is a <laughs> real life living cat. And oh, this is him going bye bye. No, so, no, you can't play, honey. Good cat. So, anyway, Webkins, this is by Gantz. This is a uh, white kitty cat. Uh, I don't have codes or anything with these, um, but people still buy these. Um, I, mm -hmm. I can tell you, I probably sell at least. One webkin one once every week or two weeks. I have a ton of them. Um, this is, I think, an ugly doll. That little apron covering is that that part. little um, that little piece of cloth isn't covering anything. Yeah, Ugh, this thing's pretty cool. This is a tummy stuffer, so it's a plush, but you can put like other plush or whatever inside of it. So that's pretty cool. So pink cat. It's Cute. Yep, got a tummy stuffer. We got a lot of these are still new with tags too. By the way, this one's brand new with tags. This is good for like Valentine's Day or something like that. It says, "You are my sunshine." Decent big one. Um, this one still got its tag. It's a blue birdie. Oh. Cheap, cheap, cheap. We got a psychedelic 
uh, dolphin. plush of a dolphin. Yeah, this one's still brand new with its tag. That is cute. Uh, who else we got? This is a uh, Webkins uh, elephant. And the damn Webkins do well. It's almost like a woolly mammoth. Yeah. Kitty cat, can you get away from my stuff? We have another ugly doll with buck teeth. Hey guys, you want to bid on this a lot? <laughs> Looking for a starting bid of $15, guys. How, how could you say no to this cute little puppy face? Oh my goodness. Oh, baby, baby. How could you say no to my cute little puppy face? It's only $15, mom and dad. Come on. Well, we got. Boom! Another new one. We got a Fuzzy Friends. I don't know if that's a puppy or a bunny or... Lamb. Something. I don't know. Looks like oh, a lamb. A, a brand new Fuzzy Friend. Speaking of Fuzzy Friends, here's a bunny. Aww. Around. Cool cat, what are you doing? <clears throat> How about a pig with uh, Easter Bunny ears? Oh, you know, for all you people out there that have dogs that love plush, you couldn't get this many plush for $50. This is a blue nosed friend. That's cute. Looking for an opening bid of $15, guys. Let me how many's there? Because there's a lot of new ones in here, too. We got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen total plus here. Fifteen dollars. You, you, you cannot. You can't buy those that cheap at Goodwill. Yeah, that that's like yard sale blowout pricing. <laughs> you get yes. Like, you get I mean, garbage bag full of plush. And $15, for make you holla. And you know, for if if it's for your child, there's so many brand new with tags ones. Lady Luck Junk is in at fifteen dollars. Thank you, Lady Luck Junk. Appreciate it. Or if you get them for your dog, that is still you know a good when price. When I go to the uh, flea market, I always take like any plush I get there, like nasty, um, and I'll basically put them out there for like a nickel or ten cents. And people come by and they'll buy them up for their dogs and stuff. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. So you got fourteen pieces there, guys. Like I said, some of them are brand new with tags, so definitely uh, some money to be made in this bag. Lady Luck Junk has got the high bid at 15. Looking for feel, a bid of 16. You can feel free to count it down for. Okay. I'm cool with people's deals. We are going to go once to Lady Luck Junk. Helps make room for new inventory. We're going to go twice to Lady Luck Junk. Say that name fast. Cajun reseller is in at 16. Thank you, Cajun. Looking for a bit of 17. Right. <clears throat> we'll count it down for Cajun. Well, just to make oh. it an even 15. And because I have this sitting in my death pile, we're throwing a little Chick fil A cow. <clears throat> so I'm not going to list that by itself. So. Well, there's your there's your giveaway. Now it's up to 15, guys. at 17, looking for a bit of 18. Cajun, are you in at 18? Yes, he is. Lady Luck, do I have a 19 from you? Thank you again for everyone who followed us over to the new stream. We really, really appreciate it. Definitely. Sorry for the inconvenience, you guys. 
Yep. Lady Luck is out. We're going to go once to Cajun. Thank you for letting me know, Lady Luck. We're going to go twice to Cajun. And Lady Luck Junk, we appreciate you being here. We hope you enjoy your first experience with us. Definitely. Going, did I say going twice? I think so. Okay. Fair warning to Cajun. I just want I just want to go into that picture and pinch his cheeks. <laughs> Congratulations, Cajun reseller. You just bought that lot for eighteen dollars. Appreciate it, Chris. I get a bill. Bill Stoner and his DVDs. These are all littler kid DVDs. 12 of them? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, dozen of them. We starting at 10? Yeah, that's fine. Got Barbie. Mariposa, that's a good one. And another Barbie. That is uh, tilted the other way. I can't read it, but we have that. My granddaughter. Loved her that. first musical movie. Yeah, my granddaughter <laughs> loved that one. Hi, Dana. It's Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty goes to the movies. Horseland. My daughter likes this show. Another horse land. Looking for a ten dollar starting bid, guys. Is it My Little Pony? Strawberry shortcake. Meet oh. strawberry shortcake. Strawberry shortcake is making a comeback, you guys. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Strawberry shortcake best pets. Gianna is in at ten. Thank you, Gianna. Strawberry shortcake berry. Fairy tales. Uh, what's this one? Don't have a cover. Another strawberry shortcake. Another strawberry shortcake. And Holly Hobby. Yay, best friends forever. Gianna is holding the high bid at ten dollars. Do I see a bit of eleven? Don't let the lag get you guys. We got about a 20 second lag. Yeah, it lags pretty good. Lady pretty Luck bad. Junk is in at 12. Thank you, Lady Luck. Yeah, Gianna, the girls would love that. Gianna's in at 15. Andy said you keep changing your shirt, Bill. Somebody noticed, huh? What'd you do? Sweat through the pits or you spill something on it? No, I don't sweat. No, I just wanted to see if anybody would notice if I kept changing shirts. <laughs> I didn't notice. This is like the third one, I think. So Andy Stoner, that's got to be related to you. Oh, my wife's the one that noticed, huh? Hi, honey. That could be a trivia question for the end of the auction. How many shirts did Bill Stoner wear during the auction? And they get a free a free prize. This is a vintage Budweiser. I'm down for ah. that. Nice to meet you, Andy. I'm Mama. Lady Luck is out. So we're going to count it down to Gianna once for $15. We're going to go twice to Gianna for $15. Fair warning. The girls are going to go ape over these. 
And congratulations, Gianna. You just won that lot for $15. Thank you. If you could just email a uh, bill at the at the address scrolling across your screen, your name, address, and PayPal email address, he will send you an invoice and you can pay him. I'm up. Okay, another buy it now. If anybody remembers Tamaguchi. Hang on, hang on. We're not. Uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't even know we'd switch screens. No, no, it's all right. Whatever you need to do. No, baby, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Hi, what the hails? All right. So if anybody remembers the old Tamaguchi. Yes, this, I remember Tamagotchi. This is the same thing. They're bringing them back. They used to sell for $35. Well, um, there was a while when those were way high. Yep. Well, I'm offering these at $2 a piece. No bid. Buy it now. That's how many I have. I have one. Uh, no, I think I have a couple of displays full. Do they work or they need batteries? You gotta, it doesn't come with the battery. You got to put the battery in. But they're all brand new. All brand new merchandise. Nice. Let's see the front of it again. And if anybody remembers the Tamaguchi, it's you have to pay attention to a keychain. Yeah. You got to pay attention to it, or it will die. You got to feed it. Feed it. You have to pay attention. Cuddle it. Uh, yeah. You have to play with it. You have to brush it. You've got yep. to uh, give it water. You got to take it outside to go potty. Yep. Thank you, Gianna. Bill, you should have Gianna's information. Okay. So they're $2 a piece. You should be able to at least minimum double your money. If anyone's interested, let me know. Record crate says I still have mine. Oh wow. I've got an old orange one around somewhere from I don't know, what was that in the nineties when those were out? Yeah, I had one too, but Lord knows I don't know what happened to yeah. it. Um shipping just depends how many you want, reseller man. Um, I typically I charge shipping. I whatever you buy, if you buy one, two, three, ten items, it all goes in a box. It's weighed. It's find out the destination, then we charge shipping. And a good example, I did a box the other day from Central Florida where I am to California it was twelve dollars and eighty five cents, and it was six pounds. Record crate says, I would like two, please. Okay, Adam, you got it. <clears throat> now, record crate, the battery is not in there. You have to put a battery in there. Right. I believe it says that. Yep, battery warning requires two. Two LR44s, so there must be some kind of watch battery. Adam, I still got to get you information on those cassette holders also. Anybody else? They're $2 each. If you go to a flea market booth or a you go to a swap meet, you should be able to double, triple, quadruple your money on these. This is a whole display. They're all brand new merchandise.
retro. Gotta love that word, retro. Well, what we can do is we can move on. Yep. And you, you've seen them. If you decide that you want one, we can absolutely bring them back up. And at the end of the auction, you can do, uh, you know, a five-minute repeat of of your buy it now items, Paul. Yeah, just put it in the chat if you want some, and I'll I'll see you in the chat and I'll get it. Or somebody will say, hey, Paul, somebody just posted it. Thank you. Thank you, Record Crate. Awesome. So then we will move on to another lot um, from me. I do have a lot of old sports cards. Uh, it's a mixture, I think, of basketball, football, and baseball. There might be a couple hockey in there. I'm not sure. Um, I'll kind of go through and show you guys what's in here. Uh, I'm going to just start this off cheap at 15 bucks, free shipping. Um, and then you guys can kind of let me know how much you would like to pay for it. But I have a bunch of just random stuff. Let me show you the extra stuff that's in here. Now, this was an actual pack. It's open, but all the cards are still in. This is from uh, Top Stadium Club 1997 Series 1. And uh, has nine cards in it. And as you can see, all of the cards are still... Still in there, so it's an open pack, but it's an intact pack from 1997. Um, I have three of these. These are old um, coins that used to go inside of a certain pinnacle set. Uh, these are football. Uh, this one has Brett Favre and Jeff Hotstetler in it. And I think I have three coin sets here. I got one with Jim Kelly and Heath Schuler. And I believe it was just quarterbacks that this was. Yeah, and then we got Jeff George and another Heath Schuler in that one. And they are just little gold coins. Now, I'm sure they're not like actual real gold or anything like that. They're probably just like plated or whatever. But um, I thought those are pretty interesting. I haven't seen those in a while. Uh, and I'll just kind of fan through the cards because I don't really know what's in here. Uh, but if you know that Lady like Luck Junk is at 15. Thank you, Lady Luck. There are Hall of Fame players. There's rookies. Like, as you can see, Joe Smith, uh, several, <laughs> like a bunch of basketball. Like, as you can see, a bunch of these rookie cards. Um, let's see, Shaquille O'Neal. Oh, no, that's are those from the new packs that you opened, or? No, no, these are all older cards. So, some of them okay. are new. Like, uh, these are all like either Hall of Fame players or old, like, rookies and stuff like that. Um, actually, these are some newer ones. I don't know how the newer ones got in there, but look, here's a Tom Brady one. Um, I don't know who a lot of these players are. Here you go. Uh, Cajun got some uh, New Orleans Saints, got some Marcus Colston, uh, like inserts, some Andre Johnson, got some Julio Jones. I should actually pr probably pull that one for Rev Resale. Uh oh, there's another Julio Jones. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave it in there because. I'll just I'll hook rev up some other cards. Julio! Jerry Stackhouse, rookie cards. Got some like OG, uh, Denny Martinez. Uh, this is Tops 1988. Some more Denny Martinez in here. Got 91. Got some, what's this? Uh, 94, it looks like. But yeah, I mean, there, there is a ton of stuff in here. We got some, oh, look, this is what that uh, coin set was to. Cards like this. So there would have been a Kerry uh, Collins coin that would fit inside of there. So uh, that's that exactly cool. what that And there's like some uh, Kerry Collins rookie cards. And those are all in great shape. Yeah, they're, they're all in pretty good shape. I mean, none of these are sleeved or anything like that. But um, it, it's just a mixture of football, baseball, basketball from – like most of them are 90s, I think. Um, there's, there's some older stuff. Like this Johnny Bench is – from 83, I believe. So there's like, there's definitely some older stuff. Got a Magic Johnson here from uh, 1989. Got Ricky Henderson, the silver shoe. Yeah, like I said, there, there's a ton of stuff. I'm like barely touching it. There's like, you know, some of like the metal cards in there. There's some uh, newer players too. Some Drew Bledsoe action. Damon Stoudemire rookie cards, a whole bunch of them. There's a die cut rookie of his. 
ton of Damon Sotomayor rookies. There's there's probably like 20 of his rookie cards, if not more, here. Uh, the Joe Smith. I think this is a rookie uh, insert. Another one. Got a good bit of Joe Smith rookies. Cody Bellinger, Wade Boggs, Mike Schmidt, Greg Maddox, old school Mark McGuire. This Mike, look at that Mike Piazza right there. That's pretty nice. Some Moses Malone, Spud Webb, Sandy Koufax. Come on, you know you want some Sandy Koufax action. And, and that was literally just one little, one little thing. There's so many more. Let me show off a few more. Oh yeah, there's there's definitely uh there's definitely some Zions coming up. Not in this lot. This is like an older lot. But like once I get to uh, like I, I have some blasters that I can put up of mosaic. Oh, there's my back didn't lose you guys again, did I? Got like Ozzy Newsome, like some like real OG football cards here. You got Ed Two Tall Jones. Uh, look at this! Look at this refractor rookie card. But I mean, just like tons and tons and tons of like rookies, and there's some older baseball. Like here's Ken Griffey Jr.'s dad, Ken Griffey Sr. Got Craig Biggio rookies, Carlton Fisk, Carlton Fisk. Tony Gwynn. You got Pete Maravich, aka Young Larry Lafferty. Uh, got Pete Maravich. You, you mean you mean Pistol Pete? Pistol Pete Lafferty. Yep. Pistol Pete Maravich. That's a card I'd like to have. Yeah, Pistol Pete. Was West Side Fury is in at seventeen. It was the Pistol Pete, man. I'm telling you. Well, Pistol Pete. You got some uh, Oscar Robertson. Those are like the uh, pop out cards. They're like three D. More Pistol Pete, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I got some of these in here. These are like um, like holograms. Yeah, those are cool. Uh, Christian Leitner. Juan Gonzalez. Pretty cool insert. Check out that mustache and mullet, though. Get oh, respect. my word. Somebody is going to own that mustache and mullet at the end of this day. Roberto Olimar. Gold card. Random cat. <laughs> I'm Ella. Sorry, babies. There's a Don Mattingly hologram card. Let me try to see if I can get that hologram going for you. These things are really cool. Check out that card. It's like, boom, in your face. That's pretty. 100 years of hoops. Wilt Chamberlain. Nice. I got this Michael Finley rookie. It's like one of those flare metal cards that are like going bonkers right now. Got some more Vin Baker rookies. You got some Jim Jackson hologram rookies. Hi, Ashley. How are you, honey? What up, Bay? You guys know you want a Tony Ku coach rookie. That's at uh one of seventy four thousand right there. Westside Gary is holding the high bid at 17, looking for a bit of 18. Free shipping, guys. Yep. Some more Oscar Robertson. You know, you want Eric Montrose, die cut, rookie. More Pistol Pete. More oh, Pistol Pete. Got some Ben Robinson. JJ. Lock Junk is in at 18, looking for a bit of 19. Right there. Now, I know that bling bling. Lady Luck Junk and Wes Max Geary both don't want any of those Pistol Pete's. Look at that. Team West Side Geary is in at 20. Thank you, Gary, for your bit of 20. Looking for 22. Ben Robinson rookie die cut. Well, that was cool. Got an Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas. I always remember him as the one that threw the ball away. Which, what was that one I was talking? Uh, Jawan Howard rookie card. Oh, okay. Buddy, you need to like not be all up in my screen. Was Isaiah Thomas the rookie card? No. Uh, it was an insert, though. Here's a Glenn Robinson. I think that's his rookie as well. Oh, I tell God I love her. 
another uh, Glenn Robinson rookie. This is like the hard court one. Here's a Ron Harper uh, hollow. Normally I would keep this one, but he wasn't a cab in this picture. Look at this one. This is from 19... Get, oh, I want to say this is from the 50s. The punter, Tommy Davis. That is awesome. This one has some wear to it, but I mean, man, from the 50s and to still be around. Here's uh, another Vin Baker rookie nice. card. Nice. Nice. Vin Baker rookie card. Uh, Glenn Robinson rookie. Another Glenn Robinson. Molly, you need to get up off my computer, homeboy. Oh, check this out. I got some women's cards of Rebecca Lobo, and one of them did die cut. Another really cool die cut of Sharif Abdur Rahim. It's like a basketball net cut out in the middle of it. Dude, get your butt off my stuff, dude. Freaking making bookmarks and stuff. You guys still see me good? He's got yeah. up on my computer. He's got bookmarks coming up. Another Gugliotta rookie. Uh, Lindsey Hunter. Gugliotta. More Gugliotta rookies, tons of Gugliotta, actually. Got some Frank Robinson gold, Satchel Page, Joe DiMaggio, a different Joe DiMaggio, Ted Williams, another Ted Williams, Mike Schmidt gold, Ty Cobb, Jerry Stackhouse rookie, Joey Galloway rookie, more Joey Galloways, Warren Moon, Andy Van Slyke, Former pirate. Back I wonder if Ted Williams' cards are worth more before he sliced his head off and went into cryogenics, or after. I don't know. I mean, th those are reprinted ones, though. Those aren't like the original ones. Those were ones that were remade in like the probably eighties or not, probably nineties, more likely. Most of these are is in it twenty-two, looking for twenty-four. Irving Fryer. Wrong. Yeah, we got some like really like OG stuff coming out here. Weekly rookie, it's like one of those 3D ones that you can feel. Another one of Herman Moore, that's also 3D and it's like hollow. Got like Lawrence Phillips. Like I'll just kind of fan through some of these because some of these aren't like really anybody like right home about. That's what you'd say oh, about Pete. Pistol Pete. Well, Pistol Pete's the man. Here's Kevin Hardy Gold. Another Montreos. Uh, it's like Chrome football cards here. Jawan Howard and Glenn Robinson rookies. Wes Max Gary is holding the high bid at 24, looking for a bid at 26. Derek Coleman rookies. Look at these, like Natron Means cards. These ones are all like real fancy. Uh, more rookies of Jawan Howard in there. More Jim Jackson rookies. Here's Bill Walton. Cat hair included for no charge. Yeah, you can have it all. There's two different Jerry West 3D cards. Another Tony Kukoc rookie card. This one's a chrome one. Jim Jackson rookies. No, you need to go on down, bro. Here's a Joe Dumars. Total D. Another Pistol Pete. There's oh, that's four. That's four. That's another one, Hall of Famer. That's a sharp Mer Another uh, Pete. Like I have uh, all kinds of Pete Maravich in here. JJ Stokes. Some NBA that draft. That was a shiny pistol, Pete, too. Yep. I'm going to try to get Kenny Anderson. Some Clyde Drexler. In the house, it's another one of them. It's another Clyde Drexler, Wayne Kirby, Terry Kittles, Isaiah Ryder. If you got a uh, promotional card of Mark Mason or what Mark Mayon or whatever his name is, Kendall Gill, these are all like OG basketball cards. Kick our sauce, Charlotte Hornets. Yep. Get up out of there, you little turd. 
Look, here's one of my favorite baseball players, Kirby Puckett. Dennis Scott, Charles Nagy, Wade Boggs, Dominique Wilkins, more Kirby Puckett. LT, Jim Kelly Chrome. Westside Gary's got the bid at 24, looking for 26. I'm going to just like run through it. Um, I got to stop looking at cards and start watching the chat. Look, here's a Jeff Gordon. Hmm. Mitch Richmond. Some Derek Coleman rookies. The Charles Freerell rookies. Nick Anderson. Greg Anthony. More Derek Coleman rookies. Isaiah Riders. There was a Celtic. You passed a Celtic. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to get through them quick because there's there's still like a bunch of cards. And if you if you want to start counting it down, you can. So I think the card people. Um so it, it's essentially an eight by six by four, Matthew, filled with all cards. And there's there's six gold quarterback coins and a 1997 top stadium pack. It is open, but it still has all the cards in it. Are those gold or brass coins? Um, I mean, they're probably not real gold. They, no, they're the just things that you used to plug into uh, a, a specific style of football card back in the day. So as you can see, we got like Hall of Fame players like Jim Kelly in there. All different generations. Look how old that basketball card is. That's like a 1970. We're going to go once to West Side Gary for $24. More Pistol Peets. More mm -hmm. We'll go twice to West Side Gary for $24. Terry Glenn rookies. More Terry Glenn. Clifford Robinson. Jerry West. Thank you, Matthew. <clears throat> Fair warning to Westside Gary at 24. There's a good Jawan Howard rookie right there, too. There's several Jawan Howard rookies in here. Well, here's a numbered card, Jeff Blake. It's numbered 1390 out of 8,000. It's a pretty high numbering, but still. Mike Messina rookie card, Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry. There's so much stuff in here. It's insane. Congratulations, Gary. You just bought it for $24. Jose Canseco's in there too, man. Jose Canseco, the man that changed baseball forever. You know it. All right. So I can't remember. Are we with, uh, we're with Bill next, right? I believe we are with Bill next. All right. I'm going to go over to him so I can neatly put this away. Uh, let me throw up my email for you. That way you can get a hold of me, Gary. Here comes Bill Turner, guys. Hello, Bill. What Hello. was the on that? Was that 22, Kelly? Uh, yeah, 24. 24. Gary for 24. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it, buddy. More DVDs. 14. Starting at 10. Yeah, there's uh, 14 of them. Super. I've got such a glare on these. Did you have like the never ending death pile of DVDs, man? I found totes of DVDs. I've got totes of CDs and, and uh, boxes and boxes of cassettes also. Looking for an opening bid of $10. There's a Barney. Another Barney. Oh, Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. That's a good one.
This is a baby Beethoven. And inspirational baby songs and stories. There you go. Looking for an opening bid of $10. Anybody interested? Can we go on to something else? Ten dollar opening bid, guys. I'll get you what was there? 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 DVDs. Less than a buck a piece. Yeah, less than a buck a piece. Just need a ten dollar opening bid, guys. Record crate says cassettes, you say? No, they're DVDs. Yeah, these are DVDs. I've got probably hundreds of cassettes out there in boxes, though. I can't get to them right now, or I'd, if somebody wanted some, I'll, I'll try to have those for next time, though, if anybody's interested in them. We've got one pass. I remember when Arthur was so big. You've got Arthur in there. Yeah. Okay, that's two passes. Yep. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and pass. Okay. What you got, Paul? I have some mystery bags. It's going to ship in this priority mail bag. $20 start, and there'll be an assortment of goodies. You said it's going to ship 20? 20 ship. And it's going to ship in this priority mail bag, envelope, pouch, whatever you want to call it. It's four pounds. <clears throat> four pounds of candy. Of candy, you're gonna get. This is just a rough assortment. There'll be no telling what you'll get in the assortment, but this is a rough idea of what will be in there. A whole lot of candy for twenty dollars shipped. Dentist delight. Four pounds. Looking for our opening bid of twenty dollars. Little chocolate footballs. Yep, little chocolate eggs. There's bunnies. There's sparkle jelly bird eggs. There's more Hershey's. There's Reese's. Like I said, this is just one, but I have. Um, <laughs> I I can make up. Up to four of these. So they're different, you know, each one will have different ones, different assortment. But we started off at 20. Anybody interested at 20? I hear you, two hip chicks. I hear you. I opened the box and I was dying for a piece of chocolate myself. Looking for a twenty dollars starting bid. There's dove chocolate. There's there's no telling what's going to be in the box, basically. Or you can put pass in the chat if it's not your thing. Yep. <clears throat> Hi, Susan. Thank you. 
Susan's in at 20. Hi, Susan Stricker. Susan's got the high bid at 20. Do I see 22? Like I said, you'll get four pounds. This is just some of the ones that I could grab. No telling what's going to be in there. But you'll get four pounds shipped in the priority mailbox. This is just an idea of the assortment. If you need me to taste anything to tell uh -huh. you what you like, just let me know. I'm willing. Susan Stricker has a high bid at 20. We'll start counting it down to Susan. Going once to Susan for 20. Going twice. I just want to stick my face through this computer screen right now and eat everything on that camera. <laughs> Going twice to Susan at 20. Fair warning. Susan, my dear friend, whom I love so much, you have just bought $20, four pounds of that candy. Congratulations. Thank you, Susan. All right, and Paul's info is scrolling below. We're back to this handsome guy over here in this rocking Cleveland Cavaliers hat. So uh, let's see, what do we want to see next? How about some shoes? You guys like you guys like girl shoes? Do you know what we should do, Anthony? What should we do? Before you auction anything off, we should play your entrance music from when you were a wrestler. <laughs> you can play I would your like to do that, but it would give us a copyright strike. And give your entrance music, and then you can come in in your in your uh, brotard and come in. And I don't think any, I don't I don't think anybody wants to look at all that. You know that's probably why that's it. probably why I got taken down because he was talking about uh, about fake sports. They're probably like, oh dang, now we're taking that down. We're 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 just gonna be uh, Uncle B is over there, eyes bugging out his head. I like, forgot. I for, I forgot. It's a singlet, not a brotard. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, that's all what right. Song, what song did you use? Um, I came out to two different songs. Uh, for singles, it was "The Sound of Madness" by Shinedown, and for tag team, it was "Remember the Name" by. Can't remember who sings it. But it was it was remember the name. It was technically my partner's music. Right? We just came out together to his. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, I was just watching some old wrestling from 1969 the other day. That's awesome. So I think what I will do next is oh, women's shoes. Women's shoes, yeah. It's like women. I like broke up. Cool. I broke up the flow. If you see this right here, guys, this is a multi quantity listing. All brand new shoes, the exact same shoe in like a few different sizes. So let me show you what the actual shoe is. And then I'll count how many is actually in there because there's a lot of shoes in there. Okay. So here's the shoes. And you got if you're into like women's stuff, I hate selling women's stuff. Like I also the point of just being like, here, babe, take these and put these in your posh closet or whatever. Um I've basically given her all my – this is all tangled, but essentially, if I can get one pair of shoes off of this, I can show you what you get. Because these still come with, like, the hangers and the hooks and all all that fun jazz. They're still uh, – got their price tags on them and everything. All brand new. These are Wonder Nation shoes. Don't really know if that's a good brand or not. Um, but as you see, this is a size 3. Still got its uh, – Price tag on it. We trust you. They're all like women. What kind of shoe is this, Kelly? Now, does it lace up like that? Because if it laces up, 
Well, yeah, it, it has it has the laces that go like around your foot. You know, okay, it's so little... it's not it's not like a gladiator type lace up though. I mean, it zips it in the back too, crosses. so I don't know if that it just crisscrosses. Yeah, something like that, I guess. Okay. So not quite a gladiator, but it just crisscrosses to keep it on your foot. Ashley says ballet. <laughs> I, I don't know, babe. It's some kind of weird shoe. So anyway, these so are. Probably, it wouldn't have it wouldn't have the back on it. They got the tag and everything. They're cute shoes. Yeah. So these are girls. So there's one pair. Girls or women's? Um, I, I I don't know. I mean, they're all like sizes from like I think three to six. So it could be girls or women's. I'm not sure depending on the size of foot. Three to six would be girls. Okay. You'd have to measure the sole. You'd have to measure the sole. It's, it's That's probably definitely girls. girls. Yeah, it's probably girls because some of these are like kid sizes. But although this looks like it could fit a woman's foot, I don't know. This is a size six. But then it's, it's all the exact same shoe. You they may have got you may have gotten a mix of of girls and women's. Yeah. Uh, either way, it, it's all the same shoe. So it would be like one listing for. For you to yeah, one variation yeah. listing. Yep. So this is a size four. Another size four. Got another size three. So that's five pair already. There's I don't know how small a woman. I don't know how small a woman shoes because I'm a woman's eleven, okay, or a men's nine and a half triple wide. Two so more. I a five and a three. So I think we're up to like seven or eight pairs already, guys. Um, what what did you start five at? And two more fives. So I didn't put in the chat what we were starting at. Uh, we're just starting at uh, $15. $15. Wow. So pretty much the price of one pair we'll start it at. Uh, so this is a four and a three. So I'll now give you a real count. So out the bag's empty. There's and that's two. free shipping? Yeah. Four, five. Wow, guys, one yeah. listing. One very one variation listing. And you've got an entire bag of shoes. There's 13 of them here. 13 pair. 13 pairs. Larry M is in at 15. These. All various sizes between three, four, five, and six. I would like you to put put one on and model it, Anthony. I probably couldn't even fit my foot in both of them put together. <laughs> Although I, I would rock these, right? <clears throat> Gary, Nate was having internet issues. Oh, dang, I'm about to too. You're about to what? No, Anthony. No, Anthony is having internet issues. I'm back. I'm back. And he's back. Oh, yep. You guys get 13 pairs. Hi, Susie Woozy. And they will be going out cubic just because it'll probably cost me just about most of. Jam Volkswagen wants to see the tag. What? You want to see the tag? Yep. Okay. Let me know if you can see that good. Right there. Wonder Nation, size six. And if you want to scan it and comp it, you can. Scan and comp. Right I don't there. think it's clear enough to scan and comp. I think that's good. Nope, I can't scan it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Did it work, Bill? No, it didn't. Wasn't clear oh, enough. Easy. So there you go, guys. You got an Larry's entire got the high bid at 15, bag. looking for a bid of 16. Of girl shoes, brand new with tag, multi quantity listing, all the same. Wander Nation. 
Record, cra record crate wants you to say the UPC, please. She's going to be doing some looking up. All right, here you go. Zero, eight, eight, nine, four, eight, seven, three, nine, three, three, one, three. Hey, Susie. And these are all approved by Nala, of course. All Nala approved. All approved. He has slept in each and every one of them. Yeah, Dana, that's what I said. They're not quite gladiator flats. They don't lace up enough to be gladiator flats, but they're very similar. For sure. Gary wants to know if you've sold any of those yet on their own, Anthony. From Macari, but on eBay, I haven't had very much luck with them. So if you want to uh, count it down, you can feel free to do so. All right. We'll get to another lot. We are going to go once to Larry M for $15. We're going to go twice to Larry M for $15. I can't believe that whole bag is going to go for $15. Dude, I, I, I want people to get deals. Like I, I want this auction to be known for a place that you can come and you can spend a little bit of money and you can make a lot of money. So that would be... That'd be awesome. Fair warning. You better hurry, Record Crate, if you're interested. There is a lag. Let me double check to see if I have sold anything. I don't even know if I even have these listed on eBay, to be honest with you. Congratulations, Larry. You bought that bag for $15. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and get back over to Bill. Uh, my email should be scrolling. Actually, it's not Paul still is. Let me put my email below for you, Larry. You can send me an email with the information listed, and I will send you an invoice. And once I get that payment, I'll ship it to you. Okay, I got some Hello, happy Bob Ross. <laughs> the happy little trees. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, first is a corduroy Chicago Bears hat. There's eight what hats all together. Uh, well, let's do 15. There's 15. Chicago Bears corduroy hat snapback. Chicago Bulls. It's a snapback. Harley Davidson. That's cool. Yeah, it's a strap back. This one here is really neat. This is an old one. That it's is old. Old Detroit Tigers painter's hat. The Tigers say, what? <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Cajun, nice. or Gate City Pickers in it at 15. Cajun, he was just above you. Melissa, they were just above you. I need a bit of 16. Mustang, mesh trucker's hat, snapback. Billy Picker's in it, 18. Thank you, Billy Picker. Gate City Picker's in it, 20. Do I Got see Obama. 22? Obama, Velcro back. Got a uh, farm hat. LGC twenty five, snapback. Gate City Pickers in at twenty seven. This is also the snapbacks also K products. Billy Picker twenty nine. And the last one's a craftsman. This has got a metal. Is that a metal? Like a metal, bag. Bag. metal. And it's a snapback. Gate City Pickers in at thirty two. Go through and show each one again, Bill. Okay. The K products hat. 
I'm looking for a bid of 34. Obama hat. Gate City Pickers holding the high bid at 32. I need a bid of 34. Mustang snapback. Mesh trucker hat. The vintage tigers. What? <laughs> Nacho Philippine Business says, hello, is my husband here? I don't know. I don't know who your husband is, Nacho Flipping Business. Gate City Picker has the high bid at 32. I'm going to start counting it down for Gate City Picker. That bull's hat right there is probably worth more than a lot itself. Probably. That thing is, especially right now, that MJ documentary that just finished. Going yeah, that's going to be Gate City that. Picker for 32. That K products hat in there might sell for thirty bucks too. Yeah, that that's a that's a real nice uh, Bulls hat there. So you had a Harley one there too. Yeah, this bear sweat is uh, corduroy also. Nice. Yeah, yeah that, that's Har awesome. that Harley was green. That was sharp. Yeah, it's it's uh, green and uh, what do you call that uh, beige or whatever. Yeah, I like the Detroit Tigers. Right now. That's pretty cool. Is in at thirty seven. I haven't seen one like this before. Have you guys? No. Oh, well, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's one of those painter type hats. It's old. Made in China, but it's still old. I like this Mustang one, too. Mustang one's made in the USA. Yeah, it's pretty nice. A lot of those are vintage, man. Vintage go for big money right now. I think the only one that's not vintage is probably the Craftsman one and the Obama one, because I don't consider 08 vintage. Yeah. This one's made in USA, though, too, the Craftsman one, and it's a snapback, so it might be vintage since it's made in USA. Yeah. The Seeds one's pretty cool, though. I yeah, like these cape cool. hats. I usually do pretty good with those K product hats. So a lot of eight hats. Let's see. Cajun was at 41. Gate City Pickers now at 45. Cajun is out. He looks like he, he looks like he's got Mr. T's eyes. I pity the fool. Yeah. I like the Chicago Bears one too, though. It's pretty nice being corduroy. Gate City Pickers going once at $45. Hi, Nana Tink. I should look this Tigers one up and see what it was going for, or if you could even find one like it. It's clean, too. Yeah. I watched all the hats. Nice to Gate City Picker for $45. This Craftsman one's pretty nice. I like the metal plate on the front of it. It yeah, that is nice, the metal plate. Fair warning to get uh, the city picker for 45. It's like uh cut out. The craftsman parts cut out. Like uh what they laser cut or whatever they do. You guys like my Corona cut? My wife cut my hair for me. It looks nice. I was it looking pretty cool with her for a while. You bought that lot for 45. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, I got a game lot. I put it in there, Kelly. Six you Nintendo put, DS games. $20 start. You put what in where, honey? The, uh, the description in the oh, chat. I see it now. Thank you. Brain Boost Gamma Wave game in the instructions. Big Brain Academy. 
game with all the booklets. Mind quiz brain coach complete. Brain wave, beta wave, brain boost, brand new, never been opened. Oh, that's cool. Flash focus, also sealed, never been opened. Brain age two, more training, brand new, never been opened. All six, three and three. Three brand new, never been opened. Three opened and played. So oh, we've got six games for a starting bid of $20. Yep, shipped. Shipped, free shipping. Brand new, sealed, opened, but all complete. Flipping Frozen's in at 20. Cajun Roots Reseller is in at 22. Almost got you with that tongue tire. Tongue tire. No, yeah. because he came in at 20, and I was going to say, <laughs> Johnny, you need to go 22, but he already bid 22. Yep. So once again, Mind Quiz. Complete. Brain A Brain Big Brain Academy complete with all the books. Brain Boost Gamma Wave. Johnny has the high bid of 22. Do I see 24? And then these are brand new. You can see what Walmart was charging just for this one. At the time, Johnny holds the high bid at 22, looking for 24. Brand new. It is a good deal on those, Nana. And this one, yeah, right there alone, it's $40 in games. Plus, this one looks like it was 29 or 39. Maybe 19, too. I don't, I'm not sure. But these are all brand new. So this roughly two four. This sixty in games right there. Flipping frozen's in at twenty four. Do I see twenty six? Thank you everybody for bidding, and thanks for being here and uh, let me in too. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Flippin' Frozen has the high bid at 24. Do I see 26? Otherwise, I'll start counting it down for Flippin' Frozen. Don't be cruel. Go ahead and bid. <clears throat> We're going to go once for Flippin' Frozen at $24. You get all six. We're going to go twice to Flippin' Frozen at $24. Help us in the building. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fair <laughs> warning. He's not dead. That's nice. Yeah, my and wife Candy was closing. Congratulations. You have bought that lot. Thank you. Very much flipping frozen. I was going to say my wife Sandy was lucky enough to see Elvis in concert. But that's because she's older than dirt. So. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to throw up. So I believe I'm up next, right? <laughs> Is it on me, or do you want to go, Bill? I don't care. It's like you can go if you want. I got Not something Bill. ready. Let's just, let's just yeah, stay with Bill. Man, uh, I was in the process of packing a box anyway, so go for it. Okay, let me flip back over the screens here. All right, I got some more hats. Uh, White Sox hats. What are we starting at, babe? Uh, fifteen. There's uh, what I say. There was five of them. Yeah. 
Five White Sox hats. That's the first one. It's an old one. Snap back. Oh, that's cool looking. It's kind of like a, a, a washed out type of gray with uh, the black lines. The, that's uh, cool. It's got like a, this is an embroidered patch that's on the front of it. I like that one. I think that's game day. I don't know. It says official license, Major League Baseball, made in USA. But in the, I don't know what that logo is. Hmm. So that's the first one. Then it is a black one with the white stripes, the white stitching. And that's uh, embro em, uh, embroidered or whatever. It sticks out real yeah, far. Embroidered. Yeah. And that's a snapback. And this is uh, genuine merchandise, one size fits all, main Bangladesh. I don't know, it's an older one. And then the next one is another embroidered with snapback. Chicago White Sox. Uh, it's embroidered. Is that starter? Yep, starter. Yeah. And then there's the tag in it. The right hat. Looking for a fifteen dollars starting bid, guys. And then there's another one with a embroidered, without the stripes, also snap back. And that's the tag in it. Everybody in the chat wants your Bob Ross shirt. It'll probably be up on my uh, store next week. <laughs> couple days i'm gonna start listing these shirts i got this whole stack of vintage shirts back here to list oh wow i just said i just listed like i think 50 or 60 shirts on my store it's your deal auctions on ebay Asian roots reseller johnny is in at 15 dollars. and then here's the uh here's the last one snap back It's embroidered also. And the tags general or whatever that merchandise tag is. The what does it say? Genuine merchandise tag. I don't think there's any other tags in that one. Cajun so that's it. Seller has the high bid of 15. Do I see 16? I think this Bob Ross shirt's an extra large because it fits pretty good. That first one I showed is kind of neat though, with the embroidered patch on it. I like that one. Yeah, that's my favorite. I like that one. I like how the fabric comes down and looks like it's puckered a little bit. Yeah, it is. It's it's kind of, I don't know what you call that, washed, kind of a gray washed out. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see. Kind of hard to see on the screen. I'm going to start folks. counting this down to Johnny Cajun Roots Reseller. We're going to go once to Johnny for $15. Yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Yeah, it's neat. I like this. Uh, I like this black one with the white stitching, too. Oh, excuse me. This one's, I mean, this one's pretty cool. It's got a big, big logo on it. I don't think I've ever seen... Um, a hat with the white stitching down like that. Like this one? This is like a referee hat. Oh, okay. We're going to go twice to Johnny for 15. Another nice assortment of hats. Fair warning. Your wife says he didn't have enough time to switch his shirt, laughing her butt off. I was looking for those wrestlers. I don't know where I did with them. I got them out there somewhere. Maybe I'll find them for the next. You just bought those hats for fifteen dollars. Congratulations, honey. Thank you, Johnny. All right. So let me throw Bill's info up on the screen. Frozen. You're good. good. Sorry about my internet, guys. It's been 
duty brown all day. Um, but I want to start off this next lot. We'll start this off at like say twenty bucks. This is going to be a lot of uh, Hot Wheels, brand new sealed Hot Wheels. We'll start it off at twenty dollars. Um, let me show you what we got here. So here's a, a Volkswagen uh, pickup. Any of these that you see that are singles, uh, that means that they're uh, valuable enough to be sold alone. Because most of this stuff, I'm just going to be honest, I just grabbed a box off my shelf. Here's a uh, Nestle Crunch Hot Wheels car on card. We have a, I think this is Dale Earnhardt Jr., number 88 UPS, like NASCAR with the hood. That's cool. Yep. Then we got another one of those. Uh, instead of a hood, it has like a uh, plastic, like official Rusty Wallace fan. Johnny's in it 20. And then these ones I have lotted in lots of four. If you guys want me to open these or if you'd rather just have them neat, it's up to you. I can open these so you can see. But essentially, like what these are, these ones are like the fat backs. You can see that right there. That's essentially what those look like. If, if you want me to bust these open, I can. But I have four of these that are allotted by four. Okay, so uh, Chris said he thinks the 88 is Del Jarrett. Let me see. Yeah. Very well could be. I don't know NASCAR a whole lot. I didn't think 88 was junior, but I don't know that much about NASCAR. It does say Dale Earnhardt on the back, but it doesn't necessarily say that this is his car. Kevin Crowley's in it 22, or Kevin Crowley's in it 22. Um, we have another set of four that I had lotted. Um, this has a, looks like, I don't know if that's a Ferrari or what that is. Oh, yeah, these are like, I'll show you what the cars are on the back. So this one's like. Larry's yeah. in it 24. Johnny's in it 26. Cody says 88 is Earnhardt Jr., Larry is in at 28. Johnny's in at 30. Do I see 32? Another lot of four. And these are, I think, I can't remember if I sold the Scooby Doo ones or not. Oh, there's like a hot rod in there. We got some like shagadelic looking cars in there. I don't know. Keevan's in at 34. Because right now, I mean, they're getting sold to somebody anyway. So I can, I can open them if you want to open. Like I said, these are more of the fat packs. Can you put your email up on the screen? Can I? Yeah. Thank you. Cajun holds the high bid at 34. I'm so total, there is four, eight, twelve, thirteen, sixteen. Uh, 18, 20, 20 Hot Wheels all together, all brand new sealed. So a lot of profit in this box, guys. How many total in the lot? 20, all brand new, all sealed. I have four of them that I had lotted in packs of four, and then I have four that were like individual listings. Cajun Roots reseller Johnny is holding the high bid at 34. I'm going to start counting it down for him. Unless I see 36, Keevan comes in with 36. Larry comes in at 38. Will Johnny come in at 40? Keevan's in at 40. I'm looking for 42, and Johnny answers the call. Thank you, Johnny. Do I see 44? Who's going to give me 44? Kevin, Kevin, are you going to let Johnny get away with that? I'm, we're going to go once. To Johnny for forty-two 
And Larry is now. Thank you for letting us know. Okay, We're going to go good. twice to Johnny for $42. Steven's in at 44 I'm going to start counting it down to Keevan at $44, looking for a bit of 46 or higher. Going once to Keevan for $44. We're going to go twice to Keevan for 20, or excuse me, $44. And Johnny's in at 46. I will count this down for Johnny now at 46, pending a bit of 48. Going once to Johnny for $46. Now's the time to bid your 48. We've got about a 25 second lag, you guys. Do not let it bite you in the butt because it won't be my fault. Going twice to Johnny for $46. Keevan's back in at 48. Thank you, Keevan. Johnny is out. Thank you for letting us know. Going once to Keevan for $48. Twice to Keevan for $48. Pending a $50 bid. Fair warning. I'm waiting for that lag. I'm watching the chat. And Kevin, you are the winner at $48. Congratulations. Good. Oh, snap. Look at that. That is epic. How much is that? I'm going to start this at $17 shipped. This is my last one because I am definitely keeping one. What does it do? Nothing. <laughs> oh, <just> a <laughs> figure. You're such a salesman. This is, <laughs> this is from the Black Series. This is in scale with the Mandalorian Black Series six inch figure. It comes with his bowl and his lunch frog. <laughs> his lunch frog? Yep. Yum, yum, yum. What this are you starting this at? 17 shipped. So is that a buy it now? No, we'll just start it at 17 shipped. So you're auctioning it? Yep. So $17 starting bid. Include shipping. Free shipping. Yep. These were two months late because of the corona thing. And I ordered, like everybody else, like all the other stores, I ordered three cases and was only allotted one. And this is definitely the last one I'm going to sell because I am keeping one. I would too. Yeah, anything yeah, right now. In at 17, Lady Luck, I would need a bit of 18 from you. Gianna just beat you. Yeah, right now, anything the Mandalorian or the child is extremely hot. And yep. season and two continue to rise. Gianna holds the high bid at $17, looking for $19. Westside Gary's in at $18, looking for $19. Gary holds the high bid at 18. I need a bit of 19. Lady Luck, would you like to make your bid 19? Gianna is in at 20. I am now looking for a bid of 22. Lady Luck is out. 
I can count this down for Gianna going once at $20. What's the back look like? Going twice at $20. Fair warning. That thing is adorable. Pending for the lag. Gianna, you have won that auction for $20. Congratulations. Thank you. Hi, Bill. Hi. Okay, I got this. I got this nice Bob Ross t shirt. <laughs> large. <laughs> it's like a Bob Ross. Right, there, right there, size large. It'll do $10 shift. Starting bid ten dollars for a size large Bob Ross. That is epic. I have the exact same one, or I would bid. I would keep this if it was an extra large. Jam Volkswagen is in at ten. Listen, is, listen, Bill, I understand how you feel because if I wear jewelry during my auctions, people make bids in my in the chat for the rings that are on my fingers and, yeah. the, and the bracelets that are on my wrists. So I, well, understand. I mean, this would have been up for sale this in within the next day or two anyway on my store for uh, 10. So, you know, if somebody wants it, it just saves me listing it. Why not? Jim Volkswagen's got the top bid of 10. Do I see 11? Look at Cody. Cody Fontaine says, yeah, we do, Mama. They do. They'll buy it right off me. Look at Johnny. I sure do. <laughs> it's, it's no joke. They buy my jewelry right off me. I had a whole bunch of jewelry I need to get rid of. I need a bit of 12 or I'm going to, or 11 and I'm going to count it down. Uh, uh, Keevan came in at 12. Looking for a bit of 13. I've seen other Bob Ross shirts too, and but I really like the way this one looks with the planets and everything. It's uh -huh. more, Mine's got more the uh, secular. Too. And the detail yeah, on it. See, mine has the planets too. Mine's at a plastic can, bag, but you can almost see the hair and he's fro. This is such good detail. Yeah. And it's his signatures on it. I don't think he signed it. <laughs> it's printed on there. What size is mine? Oh, mine's this a large too. Because Nana was, looking, Nana no was looking for one. Nana was looking for an extra large, but mine's a large too. Well, this this is a large and it fit me, but I like my t-shirts looser. Um, Jim Volkswagen, I'm guessing it's used. Yeah, it's used. It looks new. It looks well, I know. I, I, I. Didn't really wear it more than once or twice. Well, we're going to go once to Keevan at $12. We're going to go twice to Keevan at $12. I think that's Kevin. No, it's Keevan. Is it Keevan? Mm-hmm. 
Fair warning. Hey, fat man, my favorite fat man. Steven, that shirt is yours, my love, for $12. Thank you, Steven. And Bill saved having to list it. Yep. Uh, maybe I should try on all the rest of that pile. Yeah, no kidding, <laughs> right? How about a guitar shirt? <laughs> yeah, Fat Man, I'm the same way, Alex. I would just get caught mesmerized watching him paint. My grandma and I used to watch him when I was a kid. She was an artist. What you got for us, Anthony? He's frozen. Oh no. Woo, you you hustle. Fat man, you hustle. You make mama proud, Alex. The love of God, shut up. Shut up. Were you talking to me? <laughs> because I can love many fat men in my life. I just happen to be the most handsome fat man you know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe you were jealous because I always say my favorite fat man. Alex is my favorite. Yeah, okay. fat man. I, I don't get jealous. I got love for everybody. So, anyway. Since you guys like the Hot Wheels so much, I went and grabbed the rest of the Hot Wheels that I have listed right now. And all the Hot Wheels that Keevan bought, plus all of these, they all had a watcher or a liker on it, depending on where it was, because I just deactivated most of them. But So, brand new in boxes. These are all on card, all brand new. This is a Hot Wheels uh, Star Wars like crossover type thing. What are we um, starting at? Uh, we started off at I don't know, 20 bucks. Okay. Um, so this is a Darth Vader. Comes with a little Darth Vader figure. Opens up to a whole little play set type thing. So you get two of those. Plus. One oh. listing, multiple quantity. Yep. This one is from my personal collection. It's very near and dear to my heart. And I want one of you lovely people to have it. Cajuns in it 20. The official Poop King. Poop truck. The Doo Doo Brown yeah. truck. It's the Doo Doo Brown mobile right here. I didn't think you were going to sell that, Anthony. I wasn't going to, but I, I, what the heck, I figured why not. Uh, we got the, some kind of car. What is that? A 65 Corvette. Johnny has the high bid at 20, looking for 22. Of a Mercedes Benz. Okay. At twenty dollars, we go into two dollar increments, baby. Larry is in at twenty two, so I the, need a twenty four dollar bid. Gary is in at twenty five. That's just fine. The official Capcom crossover of Street Fighter Five. Twenty seven. Looking for a bid of twenty seven. I'm sorry if I'm talking over you, Anthony, but man, I got to do the job. No, you're okay. So this is the official crossover from Street Fighter V. Those are the other ones that came with it. Um, these ones get to be pretty collectible uh, for people that collect either video game stuff or whatever. I know like the Nintendo ones went through the roof. The Toy Story ones are going crazy. Johnny's at 27. Gary Connors at 30. All these different cars. Johnny Connors at 32. Do I see 34? Oh, that's cute. So let's see. What's that? Gary's in at 35. Do I see 37? You know who was into matchbox cars? My granddaughter Belle was into matchbox cars. Really? Mm hmm Johnny is in at 37. It helped her learn her numbers. Oh, that's cool. West Side Gary's in at 40. Johnny's in at 42, looking for 44. Looks like there's several other characters you can get from there, too. There's Ray, Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, and Emperor Palpatine. 
Gary's in at 45, Vader. looking for a bit of 47. I'm sure Vader's and probably the most popular. Bid, gentlemen, I appreciate there's, it. There's a C-3PO and a Stormtrooper like that, too. Oh, nice. Are those, are those two exactly alike? Yeah, they're the exact same thing. Okay. Both Gary goes a high bid at 45, looking for a bit of 47. I will count it down to Gary. Johnny's in at 47, looking for 49. Who will give mom a 49? It's probably that poop can that's got everybody wowed up. I know it, it's the it's the doo-doo brown truck that's got everybody bidding. <laughs> I bet if you autograph the back of that. Well, that's up to the winner. That is up to the winner. The price would be soaring. Gary is out. Johnny has the high bid at 47. I'm going to count it down for Johnny at 47 going once. Also, uh, just real quick for Cajun Roost reseller, uh, Johnny, I, I want to, when we scheduled the auction today, I completely forgot about your Saturday afternoon live. Um, so we're going to probably not do Saturdays anymore. Um, but thank you for your support. I appreciate you, bro. You guys aren't subbed to Cajun Roots Reseller. Make sure you do it. Definitely one of the most friendly guys in the community. Super supportive. And I consider him a friend. He is a friend. And I absolutely, I love him. He is kind. He is generous. Yep. He is loving to everyone. He is the epitome of what a man should be. Sorry, girls. He's married to a man. He is taken. And Cajun Roots, you have also taken this lot at $47. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. And this next lot that Paul has, I'm already coming in as the entry way better. So whatever he starts it at, I'm in. <laughs> Aww. This is the Mandalorian brand new, the child talking plush i put it in the chat already um kelly okay ben starting at 35 shipped check this out you'll see what they're selling for um like i said once again mandalorian the child stuff is very difficult to get this is brand new just came out once again i ordered three cases i was allotted one let me see if I can. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Anthony is in at 35. Lady Luck Junk, 40. Nikki T is at 45. <laughs> Johnny wants you to sign the doo doo brown truck. Will do. It's going to go on his support wall in his office from yeah. things he buys from other. <laughs> Johnny, you want him to sign the front or the back? I already signed on the back. I didn't want to ruin the picture. I can okay. do the front too if you'd like. Lady Luck Junk is in at 50. Do I see 55? We go at $5 increments now. Yeah, he also comes with his dinner frog. <laughs> Does he really eat that? Not to be confused series, with one yeah. frog. <laughs> what? In the series, yes, he did eat a frog. He was always he ready for frogs. Junk so. has the high bid at 50. <laughs> So I think he says three phrases. I'm hungry. You got to speak Mandalorian. Where's my frog? <laughs> when is series two starting? That is, so cool. that is that is pretty epic. Um, I'll give you an idea. The box is ten by just about eight. 
and he's all in there. There's his hands. Other hands down there. Johnny, your grandparents and your parents may have raised you and instilled those things in you, but that didn't mean that you didn't stay that man that you are. You did that. Mysterious alien. Come on, focus. That's you. Cute. I'm going to count this down for Lady Luck Junk going once at 50. Going twice at 50. <clears throat> Fair warning. <clears throat> Lady Luck Junk, you just bought that adorable baby for $50. Thank you, lady. Congratulations. Okay, I got some, uh, I got three vintage Notre Dame uh snapbacks and a notre dame shirt what are it's, we starting uh, at baby i don't know 20. the shirts true fan extra large that's kind of a neat um i don't know what kind of print you'd call that uh -huh. that's a it extra looks, large it's a weave print but it probably feels like cotton right yeah, it's a. I mean, it's you can feel it textured on on the uh, material, and then it's a embroidered on it. Paul, can you put your email address in the chat, please, for Lady Luck Junk? Absolutely. Thank you. Then here's the first snapback university. No And That's uh. Yeah, that, that symbol is the game. Looking for a starting bit of 20, guys. And then this snapback, it's got a little wear to the front of the bill. Are you sure it wasn't made that way? No, this is a vintage hat. I don't think they made them like that back then. It, look, it looks like it's worn. Okay. But it's all, uh, the whole thing's embroidered all the way around. Okay. It's pretty cool, even with the wear to it. And it's a snap back. And uh, I don't know what brand this one is. This is a pretty old one, though. You can tell by the way it's sewn together. Yeah, absolutely. That's definitely vintage. Yeah. But I don't know what brand it is. There's no tags in it. <clears throat> and then the last one, I really like this one. This is all embroidered all the way around also. That's cool looking. It's got a little Irish guy on the back of it. That's also a snap back. It's also vintage. And this is a uh, pro player. So that's what you got. Is it two hats? Or three hats. And uh, the extra large shirt. $20 starting bit guys that looks like a high quality shirt there yeah it's really nice <clears throat> i really like the embroidery around these hats though that's a lot of embroidery right, yeah hats. that notre dame one is awesome I don't know which one of the, this one's all right, you know, the university one, but I don't know which one of these I like the best. These are both really cool. I like the one where it goes all the way around with the, with the, the, the leprechaun. Yeah. The leprechaun, that one. Cajun Ruth reseller is in at 20.
Johnny has the high bid at 20, looking for 22. Yeah, this I can tell this hat's really old because of the wear on it. I mean, somebody wore that one. I don't know, have any idea how old this is, though. Oh, I guess it does have a tag. You just can't read it. I don't know. Maybe you can't make that out. Um, American Needle. There you go. I was saying, no, I can't make it out. Yeah, I can't make out. I can't make out this part, but that says American Needle on this side. Well, Johnny's I got the heard that brand. Johnny's got the high bid for twenty, so let's start counting it down for Johnny. I've sold lots of hats. I never heard of American Needle, so I don't know if they're yeah. even still on. Going once to Johnny at $20. Going to Johnny for $22. Fair warning. Johnny, you bought it for $20. Congratulations. Thanks again, Johnny. We've got a few lots left in uh, this auction tonight, you guys. So if you are waiting for the right thing to come up, the auction's just about over. So I wouldn't wait too long. So next one we're gonna do is um boom ninja turtles ninja turtles now a lot of these are newer ones but uh, these are all pretty good sellers here so we got I, I do have a vintage one in here for you guys too we'll start these off at I don't even know how many here seven or eight we'll start these off at like twelve bucks shipped uh, twelve dollars like I said there's some there's probably some decent value ones in here so we've got the Raphael. Call this the Fat Man to Flipper special. You got the <laughs> robotic. I, I don't know if this is supposed to be Michelangelo or which one this is supposed to be. You got like the soar shell. That's cool. You got looking for a twelve dollars starting bid, guys. Donatello. They're they're all in great condition too. They look like they're in great condition. Another Raphael variant. <clears throat> Dude. Leonardo. Another Donatello one. Johnny is in it. 12. Thank you, Johnny. And for 13. Boom, draw. Boom. 1988's finest, folks. Oh, the original. This is the original Donatello. Is that a soft head, Anthony? Uh, like how soft would it be? Pretty soft. I mean, it's reasonably hard, so probably not. All right. Still good. Yeah, 1988. You can't beat that. There's the, uh... That is awesome. They used to have... Um, if you ever find it, I'll give you guys the best bow in the world. If you see a Ninja Turtle that looks like this, but it has a tail that kind of looks like a wiener, um, that is uh, a huge bolo. Those are very rare. They removed them because the fact the tail kind of looked like a wiener from the front. So um, if you ever find those, there's big money in those ones. Mm -hmm. Lady Luck is in at 13. Do I see 14? So let me count them for you guys. So counting 1988, I'm going to leave him out because he's kind of like the Mac Daddy of this. We have one, two, three, four, five. Cajun Roots is in at 14. Do I see 15? 1988. You froze at five. The best one right there. Yep. How many? I don't really know. 
What's that? Oh. How many total? Because you froze at five. I apologize. There's seven total, counting this fellow right here from 1988. Wow, two bucks a piece. That's a fantastic deal. Yep. John has got the high bid at 14, looking for 15. This guy will probably end up paying for a lot. Oh, definitely. Two bucks you covered. Lady Luck is in at 15. Who will give me 16? Johnny will answer that call because I'm his mama and he does what I say. No, I'm Johnny joking. Says, I'm joking. I'm joking. Johnny has the high bid at 16. Who will give me 17? Trying to pull down off right now. I'm surprised you're selling that one, Anthony. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, Donatello was never my favorite. If this would have been Raphael, I would have kept it. Cajun Root has the high bid at 16. Lady Luck, thank you so much for letting me know that you are out. I will count this down for Johnny at 16 going once. Sixteen going twice. There is a long lag, you guys. Do not let the lag bite you in the butt. Once I start a countdown, you need to put your bids in. Fair warning to Johnny at sixteen. Johnny, you just bought it, baby. Thank you, Johnny. I appreciate the bud. What a deal. I will get those in with your Hot Wheels. We're going to go back to Bill. Back to me. Okay, what do you guys want to see? You want to see some comic books? Sure. These are uh, image comic books the first two are not in uh sleeves but the rest of them all are i don't know uh how many there are here that's a whole stack of them <clears throat> and we'll there just start them. The just the sleeve or do they have the cardboard no these have the, the all but the first all but the first two have sleeves and cardboard okay this these were uh and a bunch of stuff I got at auction, and I don't mess with comic books really. So the the first two here, this one the the covers a little. What are we starting at, baby? Uh, what I say? Ten. I don't think you ten. said. Yeah, we'll start at ten. Okay. So that's gonna be way less than a dollar a piece. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about this series. Cats. I can't read that one. That's kind of shiny. It's Wildcats also. Oh, okay. Ooh, that looked cool. Yeah, it's it's got a it's like hologram looking or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, prism cover. Prism cover? Yep. I have to remember that. This one's just like it's not prison, but it's like shiny. Oil embossed. It's Ivan Drago. Looking for a ten dollars starting bid, guys. Two of that one. This is Supreme. It's another one comic series by Image. And there's two of that one. Supreme. 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 Oh, that was Wildcats again. <laughs> Johnny's in at 10. Thank you, Johnny. So that's a whole bunch of them, except for these first two. That, and like I said, the this one covers a little tore at the, from the staples there. So how many do we have all together? Good, huh? How many do we have all together? Uh, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 
Nice. For $10. Who's going to give me 12 on this? You can't buy them at a garage sale that cheap. Yeah, I don't, I don't like dealing with stuff that's like a whole bunch of them. This says the uh, cover price a dollar ninety five US and two forty five Canada. I don't see. Johnny has the high bid at ten. Who will give me twelve? They're mid nineties, Bill. Mid nineties. Yep. Okay. Mostly all Jim Lee's. Oh really? Yep. I recognize that name. Yeah, was this put out by uh, Marvel or something? He used to work for Marvel. D they all everybody moves around Marvel DC. He's working on Batman now, I believe. Oh, cool. We're gonna go once to Johnny for ten dollars. Who was it? Did Spawn? Todd McFarlane. McFarlane, that's right. I got a couple of of uh, characters. Big plastic characters and boxes from him. Yeah, those so are good. He just came out. Occasion at 10. He just got the Batman license and all his stuff now. The Batman figures he's coming out with are really hot. Well, that'd be cool. <clears throat> Fair warning. And Johnny, you just bought it for ten dollars. Thanks, Johnny. You got a steal of a deal there, Johnny. Okay, this is the last the child piece that I have. This is brand new. Two XL. I put it in the chat already, um, Kelly. Flipping, okay. Um, hot flipping mama. <laughs> sorry. Hot flipping mama. Thank you. <laughs> this is t-shirt <laughs> testing. Are we? We are quiet. Whatever that means. I have no idea. Oh, you must. You must be here. Let me just do this. Let me. We get are testing. Says we are testing. Quiet, you must be. Oh, okay. It's so too testing. Testing, we are quiet. You must be. Oh yeah, that's typical you are. Talk. You must be. What are you starting this at? Eight dollars. It's in the chat already. We got two hip okay. in at eight, and that ship. It's for our full figured guys and gals. Which, you said that's a two X. Two X. Brand new, still has the barcode and everything on it. I like that. But it'd be just have the new. high bid in eight dollars. Nothing on the back. Who will give us nine? Nothing up my sleeve. Is that a new T-shirt? Brand new. Can't Brand beat that. Brand new. Philly Pickers nice. minute ten. Philly Pickers for twelve. Testing. We are quiet. You must be. Two hip chicks is in at 12, looking for 14. Nikki, this is a perfect size to wear while you're watching TV, lounging on the couch. This could be your PJ dress. PJ's dress. One of those lounging in the nice couch, watching a movie, sipping a glass of wine. Or whatever spirits you like. Watching the Mandalorian. Gianna is in it. 13. Who will give us 14? Two hip chicks is out. I will start counting this down for Gianna. Going once to 
to Gianna at 13. Going twice to Gianna at 13. Fair warning. Hi, D. Gianna, you just won that for $13. Beautiful. Thank you. Anthony, could I do one more? Anthony? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I, right. wanna, yeah, I want to mention one thing. Okay. Um, before we move on, Gianna, little white man who just won that auction, she and some friends, they're all jewelry people, all wonderful people. They have an auction site. It's called Steals and Deals Auctions. And Gianna will put the, the link in the chat with my permission. If you guys all want to want to check out that auction, if you're looking for some jury, yeah, definitely. The name of the channel is Steals and Deals Auctions, and she's going to go ahead and put the link in the chat. So if you want to check it out, there you go. They have a Facebook page. I don't know if there's a Facebook page for it. I'm on a I'm on a Facebook page called Steals and Deals Auctions. Well, then you might be on that Facebook page. She just put the link to YouTube. She just put the link. All right. That's, um, that's where they hold their auctions is YouTube, but they probably do have a Facebook group. She should put that up too, then. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, it's the same logo. It is the same one. Yeah, put your Facebook one up too, Gianna. That's a great bunch of girls that okay, run that what run that uh, YouTube channel. I like watching the jewelry auctions. So, do you want to show your next item, Paul? Yes, um, I know a lot of you in the group are resellers. You're probably, you know business people or whatever. So this next lot that I'm going to do, this next piece, all the money is going to go to Kelly for helping out today. What? So, yeah, we're going to start this awesome. at uh, 15 shipped. All right. You'll know this is like a $40 program. This is brand new. Never been opened. Paul, that's not necessary. It's fine. You've been helping. Um, this. You get two months bonus with this. If you own a house or you have deductions and stuff, you really should use something like this. Um, I mean, I use something like this for my business. It's really good. It helps out. Like I said, it's brand new. And all the money is going to go to Kelly. So you're not going to pay me. You're going to pay Kelly, but I'm going to ship it. So shipping is included in the 15. And you're ready, is set. This, is this to do your Clifford, this is to manage your business throughout the year. Yep. It's a good program. That's what I switched to when I stopped using Microsoft Money. Oh. Deluxe Windows and Mac. See your bank, credit card investments. Stay on top of bills. Customize budget. Focus the That's camera. That's cool. It has one year of service. Oh, that's cool. Starting bid of $15. I feel funny about calling this one. Hope that one, girl. Hey. I'm in the flipper. $10 super chat for Anthony. Oh, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Alex. I appreciate that, man. Very and again, cool. guys, we're Remember that the uh, bad boys of reselling have an auction tonight as well. And uh, you guys definitely need to check it out. There's going to be some uh, really, really good stuff there. So you guys so have not 15. 
Yep. This is really good. Look it up on eBay, Amazon. Johnny it's says good. he's been using Quicken since 2010 and he loves it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, once you get used to it, it's a really good, it's real easy to, to put everything in there. Sylvia's got the high bid for 15. Do we see 16? I definitely Paul, worth that. Paul, thank you so much. You're so kind. You're welcome. No, thank you for helping out. Anybody else? We got Sylvia for 15. Don't forget all the money's going to Kelly, hip flipping mama, for helping out here. Can you verify that banner for me? Hip flipping mama at gmail.com. Is that where you nope. want it? Hit flipping mama at yahoo.com. Might be easy, guys. Don't send nothing there. <laughs> Hit but if anybody, at yahoo.com. If anybody wants to just send Kelly like a love gift or anything like that, oh. you can feel free to also make it rain on her for being one of the most awesomest people in the world, for being a mama to the resale community. You can give her a week late Mother's Day present. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. You're welcome. Alex, Alex put his link for the auction in there. Let me, uh, Gianna, uh, you're very, very welcome for allowing the promotion. We don't mind plugging other auctions at the end of our auction. That is not a problem at all. Absolutely. Anybody that has stuff going on, you can feel free to let people know what you're doing. I don't mind at all. Sylvia is the high bidder at 15. I will start counting it down for Sylvia. Go ahead. We're going to go once to Sylvia. We're going to go twice to Sylvia. Mama, I wanted to let you know I won an auction for a lot of jewelry and got a few lots of jewelry yesterday in an estate sale and an auction in, C in CP auction. Good for you. Nice. No, when I send her a love package, cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Fair warning to Sylvia. Johnny sent me two packages of double stuff Oreos. Did you get the tiramisu Oreos yet? What, honey? Have you found the tiramisu Oreos yet? No. Yeah, we haven't found those in any store yet. What kind are they? Tiramisu. I haven't even heard of those. Uh, they, it's an Italian pastry tiramisu that's really good. But they just made the or they just came out with that Oreo. I always look for new Oreos when we go, but we haven't went to the grocery store. We've been ordering online. Thank you so much, Sylvia. You just purchased that for fifteen dollars. Thank I you, Sylvia. That. And Paul, thank you so much. I appreciate you. No, thank you. So just let me know when she's all set, and I will send it out to her. Awesome. So are we on me next or are we on are we on Bill now? Don't make me any difference, whichever. Sylvia, that goes through PayPal. No, it's it go to you, Anthony. Okay. Sounds and then good. we'll go to Bell. Right, they Anthony, go to, to his or I'm do some clothing for you guys. Um, this is a lot, and I'm not entirely sure how many pieces are in it, but I'll count it for you as we get it. But this is actually a really awesome lot of clothing. Like, there's some really good stuff in here. What are we uh, starting at, baby? We'll just start at 20. 20? Okay. Uh, first one we have is a uh, Docker stain resistant. Uh, this is a size large. Really nice main button down shirt. Then we have, I believe this is L.L. Bean. Yes, L.L. Bean, traditional fit, size 17-35. Uh, 
Plus an extra large. Okay, so an extra large. Really nice dress shirt. Got a polo Ralph Lauren necktie. Nice. Really nice condition. Well, gotta have some of these in there, right? Uh, Reebok on field uh, Steeler jersey of Mike Wallace. This is a size 52, which I believe 52 is a large. Or is it an extra large? I think it's an extra large, actually. Yeah, it's an extra large because fifty-four is a two. Okay, yeah. So that would be a extra large Mike Wallace, completely stitched everything jersey. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. We have one of my latest thrift store finds from yesterday. We got the uh, Steelers oh, slash Jimmy Buffett that, Island. We shirt that is sweet yeah this was just too cool to, to leave behind at the thrift store so yeah, oh that's my, my newest gosh, thing. i would have listed that well i mean i i was going to but i wanted to provide value for people like you guys will see there's some nice pieces in here you got a uh, i think this is a sweater vest yep I'm pretty sure it's tommy hill figure it is uh x extra large tommy hill figure sweater vest Really nice looking That's thing. cool. Looking for a starting bit of 20, guys. Hey, RCM. Also, guys, um, this isn't going to go to me. This is a hip flipping mama lot as well. So, no. this is a polo shirt uh, by Trump Golf. So, pretty much anything Trump right now is very hot. Very hot. So, this is a really three nice stars. Johnny is in at 20. Thank you, Johnny. Next shirt. This one's awesome. This is like little boy Anthony. Well, I, I truth be told, I bought this for myself, but it doesn't fit me like at all. <laughs> it's, like, so it, it's a hoodie that makes you look like the green power ranger like there's his like mask and everything when you put it on and like the vest or i mean the shield or whatever so yeah it's like essentially like that power is ranger. Cute. mighty Morphin power rangers so yeah that that's is cute. pretty much brand new i bought it it didn't fit and i threw it in my death pile and here it is <laughs> so that makes you look like the green power ranger it's supposed to be a, I think, 5X, but it fits more like an XL. <laughs> so, this one. Did you order that off Wish? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did. This one is uh, Wounded Warrior Project by Under Armour. Well, it's Under Armour, oh, nice. but Wounded Warrior Project. So, these do really well. I got this off of Gate City Picker, and he said he sold every single one except for this one. Uh, and that's just because he didn't have this color variant listed. So, fresh out my death pop. This is really nice. This is a uh, Tommy Hill figure XL men's dress shirt. It's a nice pink color. Okay, I came correct with it with these clothing for you guys today. See, that's that's, Ooh, that's a really nice lot of clothes. A very a large. This is a Ziggy Hood Steeler jersey. That's nice. This one is not stitched. This one's like paint. So you have one that is stitched and one that is not stitched. Johnny's got the high bit of 20. Do I see 22? <sighs> You were gonna this make right here. This, this piece yeah. is probably like the coup de gras. I almost didn't throw this one in because I, I know that there's value in it. So Duke, probably one of the most famous basketball uh you know college basketball teams. 
OG starter. So this is like vintage 90s uh, right here. So size extra large, and it's Duke. So this right here is going to be super, super resellable. So, but yeah, so it's it's by starter. It's an XL. It's a Duke basketball. Two hip chicks is in at 22. I'm going to look right now, Sylvia. Thank you, honey. So let me count the pieces for you. You got one, two, three, four. Aww. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. it looks like 12 pieces all together, guys. Johnny is in at 24, holding the high bid. Do I see 26? And again, this yes, is a hip. I got, the, on that I got the payment. I got the payment, Sylvia. Thank you, baby. Every single bit of this is going to Kelly. And I will ship yes, it to anywhere in the world. Two hip okay. chicks is in at 26. Cajun Roots is at 28. Two Hip Chicks is at 30. You guys will make your money back in just one of those clothing You'll items. You'll make your money back just on the Duke shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and Thank then there's so basically yeah. gravy. <laughs> and this is all like high quality. Like this is stuff I had set aside for me to personally list on eBay. That's a nice tie too. Two hip chicks are in at 34. Do we see 36? Johnny's in at 36. Do we see 38? Two hip chicks says, Mama, I give you 38. Johnny says, uh, But Mama, I'm giving you 40. <laughs> Do I see 42? Two hip chicks are out, so we can count it down for Johnny. At $40. Going once to Johnny. At $40. Going twice to Johnny. At $40. I appreciate that, Johnny. Fair warning. And it is sold to Cajun Roots Reseller for $40. Thank you, Johnny. Johnny, if you could just send $40 to uh, Kelly's uh, PayPal right there, I'd appreciate it. And then she'll just let me know and I'll ship it with the rest of your stuff. And that's not necessary, Anthony. I know it's not. But you know what happens when you get blessed? You smile really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to Bill now. Uh, thank you, Johnny. He's rocking that Pokemon. Thank you, thank you uh, Anthony. I love you. You're welcome. I don't really have much left except DVDs. And, and I mean, ready. And I got some watches. If somebody wants to buy a watch lot, there's watches I haven't tested or anything yet. Want to try some DVDs? You've been working for you so far. That last lot didn't do too good. All right. These are uh, comedy, like cartoon. Oh, geez. Uh, what are we starting at, honey? Uh, 10. All right. Family Guy, Stewie Griffin, and Toad Story. <clears throat> Futurama, Futurama, Futurama. I'm guessing these were a box set or something. I don't know. And then Beavis and Butthead. Oh my gosh. Another Beavis and Butthead. Oh my gosh. Two Hip Chicks is in it 10. That's volume two, one and two. And there's uh, American, American Dad. Dad. Another Family Guy. Another family guy. 
Another Family Guy. Uh, this is just a Simpsons disc by itself. SpongeBob. Last Stand. And Teen Titans. <laughs> That's an awesome lot. That's a really good lot. That is an awesome lot. That's like you took your last couple lots and just injected them with steroids. Two hip chicken <laughs> is got the high bid at ten dollars. Do I see twelve guys? I remember when Beavis and Butthead used to be on MTV. Yep, me too. Yeah. Of course, I remember when MTV used to play music videos too. Right. <laughs> Mom used to try to make me not watch because I'd call her a bunghole when I was a kid. <laughs> hey, give me my bunghole. Tom has a friend, and when he was younger, um, he was tall and lanky, and he looked just like the dark haired one. I don't know if that's Beavis or Butthead. He looks just just like the and talk. I don't think I've I don't think I've watched this one. We've got a ten dollar bid looking for eleven guys. These are DVDs you can literally sit down with a bag of chips and a Mountain Dew. And just watch them. <laughs> this is a great cornholio. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Aren't, isn't Family Guy and American Dad made by the same people? I think so. They look the same. I like that other one too uh, with the the red X. Which one is? What is that one? Uh, oh, um, I can't think of it. He stands around drinking beer. Oh, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't think of the name. His his name's Hank, but I can't think Hank, of the show. Yeah. Gary's in at eleven. Do I see twelve? King of the Hill. Yeah, that's it. Two hip chicks is in at 12. Do I see 13? It's got that Boomhauer guy you can't ever understand. Well, boom, yeah. boom, boom, boom. Gary's, Gary's at 13. Do I see 14? Two hip you know chicks the, is at 14. Who will get 15? I had a friend from Louisiana talk just like Boomhauer, though. <laughs> Gary's in at 15. Who will give 16? Two hip kicks is in at 16. Do I see 17? Do I need to show you Stewie's bum again? <laughs> Football head, I call him. Yeah, that's for sure. Two hip chicks has the high bid at 16. Do I see 17 before I start counting it down? Goodbye, D. We're going to go once to hip chicks for 16. Thank you, Gary, for letting me know you're out. We're going to go twice to two hip chicks for $16. Two hip chicks are going to be sitting on the couch eating chips, drinking Mountain Dew, watching these movies. And laughing their butts off. <laughs> no kidding. Wow, we got a lot of laughs. I like turned those DVDs up on their side like a minute ago. <laughs> no, Gary. 
No. And two hip chicks, you just bought that lot for $16. Congratulations. Thank you. Unless somebody wants more DVDs, that's all I got left that I've got over here. Okay. Sure. That's, all, that's all right, Bill. We're, we're wrapping things up. Okie doke. All right, so we'll do one more lot, and then we can be done. Look at all those Funkos. Do one, is it okay to do one more piece, Cal, or do you want to... Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so we are going to start with this lot of six Funko Pops. $40 shipped. Looking for an opening bid of $40. Why don't you tell us about them? Sorry, I was and I didn't see my mic was, was muted. Oh, um, no. Six brand new uh, pops. There's a couple of doubles of Suicide Squad number 98 Deadshot. And um, then there's Black Panther. It's $40 shipped to start. Miss oh, Peregrine, Peregrine. Um, particular children. I got it. Thank you, Johnny. I love you. Black Panther, Nakia. Eric Killmonger. Black Panther. Suicide Squad. Don't forget Suicide Squad 2 is coming out next year. Can't wait. Hope it's better than um, the last movie with Harlequin there, The Birds of Prey. Deadshot, Will Smith, and Suicide Squad, Killer Croc. They're I would in, not have guessed that was Killer Croc. Yeah. yeah. They're all in good shape. They're all right at cost, actually. You get all uh, two hip chicks. You won the DVD payment that would go to Bill. Hold on, just one second. We'll get his uh, his email address going across the screen. Oh, Pop it up there right now. Give me one sec. Sorry about that, ladies. My fault. Bill put it right in the chat. Now you got to change it to Paul. Oh, yeah, my bad. Any Bill. interest in pups? If no interest, no problem. There's Paul's. We're getting six brand new pops, guys, for a $40 starting bid. Those are pretty cool ones. What's the, the what's the Emma Bloom? That sounds familiar. What's she from? Miss Pellegrine's. Miss Peregrine's. Peregrine's. Peculiar Children. Home for Peculiar Children. They all have special powers and features. It sounds so familiar. It was. It's it's awesome. Awesome. Is it? Yeah. That's got to be a rare one, I would think. Is it? Because I haven't seen it. Well, most of the most of the pops they only make once. They don't keep making them. There's only like so many produced of each one. When was this put out? That one. Does it have a year on it? Um, 2016. Okay. I have to look that up and we'll see if I've seen that. Because that name. For it. An opening bid of forty dollars, guys. Yeah, I never saw the movie. I didn't even see uh, Black Panther, and I'm a Marvel fan. I just didn't like it. 
I've seen both of those. Although I did watch the Scooby Doo movie the other night, and even my dog liked it. <laughs> now that I haven't seen yet, but I will see it. Yeah, that wasn't bad. It was good for adults too. My wife enjoyed it also. Any interest? Forty dollars for all six shipped right to your door. Hi, Midwest Picker. What's up, man? Good to see you. Well, you can bring them back next time, Paul. No problem. All righty. Thank you. All right, guys. So this is going to be my last lot. Um, this is another find that you would have seen in my last pre-recorded video. This is a uh, collection of Coca-Cola uh, bear stuff. So these are like little figures and plate sets. What did you guys start at, honey? We started at twenty dollars, free shipping. All right, baby. So here's the first one. Aww. That's how awesome that is. And they're fishing with the little Coca-Cola bottle. So does that light up? You know, I don't. I don't think it does. That'd be cool if it did, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's, that's the make, whoever makes that. So, fishing that for fun is really that one. If anyone wanted to comp it. Like I said, we're going to just do 20. There's four of them total. Good night, Gianna. Love you, sissy. And then before, actually, before you leave, um, I'm going to be doing a, a Funko Pop giveaway. So what I'm going to do is all the people that – that won an, an auction from any of the sellers. Um, I'll go through and I'll pull um, names and then we'll do an auto generator. And one of you guys will have a Funko Pop sent to you in with your package or whatnot. So we got this right here. This is Coca Cola Bears watching the fireworks. And that one's called Fireworks Fun. That's cute. Let's go to the next bag. So they're building a snowman here. Snow bear. That is adorable. This one's called Snowman Fun. Oh my goodness. And you can hang them on the wall too. Yep, you can hang them on the wall. You can set them like down on the counter or wherever. Yeah, these these things were like way too cold to just leave behind at the thrift store. And then this last one here is they're skating around with their little coach. Uh -huh. And that one's just called skating fun. So that yeah, is so cool. I've never seen before. <laughs> James says BB gun targets. <laughs> he likes Pepsi. No, 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 no. Looking for a starting bid at twenty dollars, guys. I forgot. I got so I got so uh, wrapped up in what they were and how cute they were. I forgot. To <laughs> <laughs> now they do have. Um, so I guess somebody put the dates they got them on here. So this one's from 2005. I think thank they might all be your, Thank up. you for your bid, Johnny. But that that could come off with goo gone. That, that I'll bet you good. anything. That's when they got them as gifts. Yeah, it has it has all the dates on there, and it looks like they're all from 2005. Cajun Roots reseller has the top bid at 20. Do I see 22? Man, those are cool. Yeah, like I said, I, I haven't even comped these yet, but I saw that I'm, I'm like, these are just going straight to the auction. I don't even care if they're worth like tons of money. Because they're just too cool. I couldn't just leave those there, especially with how popular Coca-Cola is. Yeah. It's like the most popular thing. Well, I'm going to start counting it down for Johnny. Cajun Roots reseller going once. Twenty-two. 
<laughs> James Kelly Picker. Dang, I should have bought something. Going twice to Johnny for $20. Pepsi rules, Coke drools. <laughs> He deleted it. Lady Luck Junk, I would need a bit of 22. We go in $2 increments after 20. I don't know if I did going twice yet. Going twice to Cajun Roots Reseller for 20. And Lady Luck Junk is in at 22. Looking for 24. Johnny's back in at 24. Looking for 26. Johnny takes it again. Going to go once to Johnny for 24. Thank you, Lady Luck Junk. Thank you for all your bids. We appreciate you being here. Going twice for Cajun Roots Reseller, Johnny. Fair warning. Why don't you put those down, baby, and change this the scroll? Oh, uh, yeah, touche. Yeah, you guys are going to want to send that to me for that one. And Johnny, you have bought it. Congratulations, baby. Appreciate those are you. really cool. And like I said, one of you guys will get a free Funko Pop in your box. I'm going to do that completely at random, and that'll be selected off of the people who uh, won lots today. Okay, and then we are going to go to Bill. Hello, Bill. We were, hello. We were done with that, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you not have any more lots you wanted to do? You don't have to I, if you don't want to. I thought that that was the last one. It's unless oh, you want yeah, to do more DVDs. You, you don't have to if you don't want to. If, I pretty much said he was done. Bill, if you want to do another lot, you may, honey. No, that's that's fine. I can, I got plenty of DVDs for next time. Okay, baby. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, I still have a lot of stuff that was on my list here that I didn't get to today, too. So um, there's going to be some really good stuff. I still have uh, vintage 1990s Power Rangers for the next auction. I have um, well, I have those mosaic cards still. Um, we didn't put any of those up yet. You know what? Why don't you do those, honey? Well, let's see. Is there anybody in the uh, chat that is interested in any of the mosaic blaster boxes i think that nikki nikki's very interested in that but um you have some of those that are are sealed what oh no this is this is one of the keeps freezing every once in a while i know yeah I'm, I'm sorry guys my computer is on its last leg so that'll what? be replaced probably the next month or so I'm liking my new one. I did a, uh, I shot a video for April sales and normally it takes me over an hour to process the video. And uh, this one did it in, uh, I think it was like three minutes. Nice. <laughs> I was so impressed. I mean, I could watch, watch the thing go, you know, percentage go across. I was just, wow. <laughs> Anthony, if you want to do your Power Rangers, go go for it. Um, it's, your it's, your auction, it's your auction, my love. Do your Power Rangers. Well, you got a couple of people interested in those cards. 
Oh, okay, yeah. So pretty much what I what I was asking if anybody was interested in these, because thanks to a certain hip flipping daddy, I might have come into a few of these uh, brand new sealed. So um, if you're interested, what's that? Should we do show and tell? Sure, we can do show and tell. <laughs> How beautiful is that? <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, I'd be I'd be willing to throw like one of them up if somebody's interested. We can we can do that. I just don't want to do a whole lot of them because they need to come live with me. <laughs> and what mm -hmm. makes it so special? Um, well, these right now they're going for like four times value sealed. But um, they, they carry Zion Williamson rookie cards, John Morant rookie cards. Uh, this is also a short printed set because of COVID-19. Uh, they actually aren't printing anymore. So um, those uh, will be – I'm going to have some available on uh, eBay. Um, so, yeah, let's we say, Let's say we were in the right place at the right time. Yep. So every box has a, a guaranteed has a card, one of those cards in it. No, I mean it's it's all at random. So you could get a box, you you could not get his Ion Williamson. But uh, Nate just opened two of them the other day, and he got he got his Ion. So, wow. um, yeah, the the cards though, even if you don't get his Ion, they're still pretty expensive cards that come in that set. I know Rev Resale is like them? literally killing the game opening those boxes. Who makes them? Panini. Really, they. I remember they just used to do stickers. Yep. Yeah, they do all kinds of cards now. Wow. That was that was the same company that did the uh, Russian soccer stickers. I just sold out of recently. Yep, Gary said it's like a lottery ticket. Absolutely. So you can't you can't really you know it's funny I sold one of those online and the guy wanted to return it for an INAD because it didn't have Zion in it. <laughs> I was like, if you if you went to the grocery store and you played the Powerball and getting hit and and you tried to return it, they would just laugh at you. I was like, you're not getting, you're not getting a refund. You got Lady Luck in at forty bucks. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we can we can start one of the blasters at forty if you guys want that. That's basically like my friend discount that I give on eBay to like our buddies. <laughs> so they, are there individual packs in there? Yeah, each one of these is in at 40. Each one of these has eight packs in it. And it, you have a possibility of getting autographs in there too. And uh, each box has four mosaic prisms in there. And which team, I'm sorry, because I don't know anything about these, but which team does Zion play on? He plays for the New Orleans Pelicans. Never even heard of New Orleans Pelicans. Yeah, they're they're a newer team. Yeah, Gary, these, are these are sealed. We just bought these today. Wow. So and we clean we cleaned them out. So yeah, Matthew said you must have been at Walmart while the guy was filling the shelf. That's that's literally the only way you can get these because somebody will literally come up and just buy them out. Wow. West side Gary is in at 42. Do we see 44? I yep. told him we could have started it at 60, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I don't mind starting it low because, I, like I said, I like when people get deals. And, and, and if it's for people like that I know, like friends, viewers, and stuff, like more power to them. Lady Luck Dunk is at 44. Westside Gary is at 46. Let me tell you. Two months ago, I would have walked right past these not knowing what they were. Okay. I probably, I probably walk past them every day. And now, now I was like, ah, Zion, there's Zion. How yep. much is the Zion card selling for? Lady Luck Junk said, um, if you pull a base Zion, it's at 50. Now we're looking for 55. Just a regular base Zion. Frozen. Lady Luck Junk is at uh, is at fifty five. Oh, doesn't look like Anthony's right. going to come back this time. Oh, there he is. 
my computer is all sorts of jacked up. You want to make? Gary said, "How many are you guys willing to sell?" Make tell you what, I'll, I'll let a couple of them go. Um, so what we'll do is, um, whatever the the winning bid is, like you, somebody can just match it if they want another one. So how much was the Zion card selling for? Anthony, uh, the Zion is, the Zion itself sells between seventy and eighty. Wow. Anthony, make me big. Yeah, that's for a base. Make me big, Anthony. What's up? Make me big. Make you big. Yeah, so that, that's for one box of cards. Yeah, flipping Donna, it's for a box of eight packs. Yeah, it's eight packs. Right four here cards it per says pack. four card packs. Eight packs in a box. Oh, four cards a pack, eight packs in a box. So you're getting eight packs with four in each card. They're the fluorescent mosaic prisms. They're really cool looking. Oh, because Gary's a beast. <laughs> West Side Gary, baby, you got to bid 60 At $50, we go in $5 increments, darling. Looking for a bid of 60 It's still yours right now, Lady Luck Junk. At 55 you have the high bid, Lady Luck Junk. So the cards these days, do they still come packed with gum? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. They cut out the gum. No more gum? Gary, I need a bit of 60, honey. Oh, Nikki T's back. The Zion Whisperer. <laughs> I'm going to start calling this down for Lady Luck Junk at 55. I need a $60 bid. Westside Carries in at 60. Do I see 65? I'm glad I hadn't wrapped these up yet. Gary holds the high bid at 60. Do I see 65? Orange fluorescent mosaic prisms. Blaster exclusive. Panini Dunk. Get 10 free digital packs. When you download the Dunk app, and it gives you a code. I haven't seen any of those at our Walmarts. Yeah, they're they're picked over everywhere. I've been trying to track them on BrickSeek, and it's like, the, literally the minute the, the MJ Holdings person gets there, somebody cleans them out. We're going to go once to Westside Gary at $60. We're going to go twice to Westside Gary for $60. Gary, if you can find them at the store, it depends on which store you find them at. They go from like twenty to twenty-five dollars, roughly. On eBay, they normally go between sixty and eighty. Fair warning to West Side Gary at sixty.
Gary, I hope I picked you up a good box, baby, because you just bought it for $60. Congratulations. And just so you know, I will be wrapping this in foam and then wrapping it in uh, bubble wrap and then placing it in a box with paper all around it. So your corners of these, this box, should you choose not to open it, will be intact and good. He's going to shred that box. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would just do it. Um, if, if anybody wants to like kind of match that winning bid, um, okay, cool. Um, yeah, who, who says, Danica? Well, Danica have the other one if willing to sell to. Yeah, absolutely. Danica is. Um, oh, really, dude? Really? He just threw a fresh across the room at me. There you um, go. Danica's Lady Luck Dunk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who said that sooner if my cat didn't just. All right, so I just went on Brick Seek. And it's saying that every Walmart around me has in stock six plus. So you better run out to Walmart, man. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's Gary's. Yep. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to get two, that that's perfectly fine. Like I'll, I'll I'll let a couple of them go. That's that's fine. Is Danica and Gary married? No. Okay. So then this one will be Danica's. Did she say she wants it? Oh, I don't know. I thought you said she did. Danica, do you want one? Yes or no? Oh, she does not want one. Oh, okay. Yep. Cool. Gary's going to film it. That's going to be epic, dude. I really hope you get a uh, Zion, man. She is married, just not to Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, she does want one. Okay. Thrift Beast wants one, too. Thrift Beast wants one. Yeah, so let me write that down. That means I got to ship that to Canada. Oh, yeah, touche. That takes forever to get there. Takes forever to get anywhere lately with all the issues they have. Okay, so this one's yours, Chris. I've got I've got this one over here and I've got yours over here. Cool. There there was enough blasters for all three of them to have one. The, the big fat box. There's enough of those ones. I just want to make sure everybody gets the same thing that because that's the most valuable one. Read the chat. People have questions, Anthony. Okay. Questions. Questions. How many boxes do I have? Um, Kelly has like a thing of them. Uh, how many? <laughs> Nikki T says Rev just left for Walmart. <laughs> uh, so that that's pretty much what we have. I've got um, five of the big. I have five of these. And then you don't want to sell these, do you? Or these? Um, well, yeah, I, I, I was going to open some for myself. Okay. So. so then we've got, he Anthony, I should say Anthony has. <clears throat> five boxes. Because they already belong to Anthony. Uh, Chris, would you prefer a hanger or a blaster? He's asking about the hanger. So I, I definitely, I definitely have some that I'm willing to let go. It's There's just, only three hangers, Anthony. You've given two out. You were only planning on auctioning maybe one. 
Now you've auctioned two. That's going to leave you with five. Well, Chris, many... Chris wants a hanger. So if Chris wants a hanger, we can do one of the hangers to Chris and then the two blasters to Danica and Gary. I mean, it's up to you guys, though. If you want them, I will send them out because I would rather them go to people I know that can hopefully get his eye on. Okay, hang on. Okay, I didn't sign up for all this stuff when I got you these. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, if you want, I have a buddy here in Pittsburgh I can buy some off of literally for what they paid, and yeah. I can I can ship them in their packages if, if, if that'd be easier, and you can just send me that. You talking to me? Yeah. No, honey, it's fine. Okay, so who bought the first one? Gary. Gary, yeah, West Max Gary. Okay, so this one's Gary's, and now... Uh, Danica wants one. And oh, Johnny, she, I hope you picked him up, man. And she is Lady Luck Junk. Oh, uh, def definitely go pick them up, Johnny, because th they will sell today. Like, literally, you list them today, they'll sell today. Gary, I want the lucky one Mama was holding. Gary... This is the one that I was holding for the auction. This is the one I held up for the auction, and it has your name on it. This is the second one I picked up, okay? And this is Danica's name on it. Now, Chris wants a... Yeah, one of those. Hanger. So I will write Chris. Hey everybody, I'm gonna take off. All right, Paul. Yeah, we're we're pretty much done anyway. So uh, you're, you're just talking way over my head. I don't know anything about these things. <laughs> I'll I'll send you the invoice, Gary. I'll get all that out to you. All right. Uh, thank you everybody for uh, bidding on my stuff and allowing me in the auction. Thank you. Yeah. Um, later, Paul. Paul, thank you very much for that donation, honey. I appreciate you. No, nope, yeah, Paul runs to Walmart. What? <laughs> and we're going for a ride. <laughs> yeah, I would, man. Like, there, there's big money in this. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, yeah, honey. Man. And I, th I think we're going to bounce off, too. Is there anything you want to say before we go, uh, Bill? I don't know. I'm fine. Thanks. Thank everybody for uh, bidding on the auctions and, and thank you, Kelly, for doing the auction and thanks for having me back, Paul. Or, huh? You're very welcome, baby. I think, thanks, Anthony, for having me on again. Anytime, man. You're always welcome. And I just want to give a big thank you to our auctioneer, Hip Flippin' yeah. Mama, who is just the most wonderful person in the entire world. Thank you. You have to do the giveaway. I think he froze up again. He did, but he can still hear me. I think the cat's down there chewing on his wires. Mm -hmm. Throwing cans at him, <laughs> chewing his wires up. He's done it before. Nala's done it before. <laughs> <laughs>